All right, donut. Inception time. Hey guys, what's going on? Um, you guys have hey, been waiting for this video for a while, huh? Today, guys, we're going to be talking about this game again. Um, a, a big reason why I refrain so much from doing rant videos for this game is because I don't like what it turns me into because it does turn me into a different type of person. It turns me into a super negative and more toxic person, right? Because the game is trash from top to bottom, okay? You know, take me back to the days when, when I used to complain about, you know, FC games. Wait, chat, I'm in 1.25 speed. Is it too fast or it's good? Because I feel like it's actually good. No, 1.5 is going to be like, you play can't even understand. FIFA gameplay, right? I, take me back to the days where it was only like three base mechanics of the game that were horrible. But the main complaint that I always had was inconsistent gameplay. Take me back. Because the game for the new gen version of this game, guys, is horrible from top to bottom. I don't think it's an opinion to hear from absolutely anyone in this world to say that they like this game. Because if you like this game, you're out of your mind. <laughs> okay? And I'm going to explain to you why you're out of your mind. It's not just me saying you're out of your mind because people always, they watch these videos and they always think it's like a record situation. It's always like, oh, it's because he's trash at the game every single time, right? That's why that one video that we did in the beginning of the year was to prove that I wasn't a skill. I don't even like saying the word skill. I just cringed from saying skill, okay? A skill issue. Don't talk about skill in this game. Don't. Don't talk about skill in a game where almost every single base mechanic of the new gen version of this game is complete garbage. It used to have finishing. It used to. Where every base mechanic of this game is complete garbage. And on top of that, we have inconsistent gameplay still that just makes the whole experience horrible. I don't want to hear it, guys. Okay? If you play this game willingly, you're playing it with the knowledge that you are playing a trash game. Uh, whether the score is 5 0, 6 2, 5 4, it doesn't matter. Because the game is horrible. Okay? Let's talk about <laughs> the individual mechanics as much as I possibly can. Because, guys, my notes, don't think that the notes that I have here is advanced notes. It's because it's not. Okay? My notes, this is my notes. I'm going to show you guys, okay? Chad, to be fair, just to add in a point early on. You guys saw what happened to me. What day was the day I had bad gameplay on Friday? Thursday and Friday. Thursday and Friday, right? Here's what I agree with with him because people sometimes say skill issue or I got this rank or I got this division. Specifically with this year's game, I would say, and the last couple, it doesn't even matter what you get because let's say you're a rank one player, right? And you're playing against somebody who like you think is really bad in weekend league. People are going to say this is a waffle, but this is very true. You don't always know if your opponent has bad or good gameplay. Like... On Friday and Thursday, I had the worst gameplay this year I've had, and it's not server-related. Like, it was the coded bad gameplay that he always talks about. I haven't had that this year, right? In that case scenario, my opponents all thought I was so bad. I was playing against gold cards. I hardly, when I won, I was up 3-2, like, dying for my life, drag touches. Like, completely different experience. Like, I could turn into a 10-win player. That's why when I get, like, a rank 1 or I'm doing well in Rivals, like, I don't really, what's the word for, like, um, celebrate or anything because... I don't even know if my opponent had the same exact conditions that I was playing in, right? Like, who's to say that? Sometimes you're flying in your opponents. So that's the problem, too, with, like, the skill in this game. Like, you don't always know if your opponent and you are in the same field of play. Um, oh, he's going to talk about that? Okay. This is my notes right here. Put this on full screen or whatever, because you guys are just going to see this. This is my notes. Okay? So don't think that I actually jot down individual things, because I don't. You guys know why I don't have individual things here? Because I don't want to add up all the garbage that exists within this game, okay? Because there's a lot of it. There's a lot of stuff that I actually try to avoid even knowing about because I know it's gonna consistently be decisions from EA that just shows why they are a horrible company for the most part, right? You know, shout out to the content team at EA because at the end of the day, my YouTube channel survives based off, the, based off of the content that they provide me. But a lot of the content that they have provided this year, I haven't even done because it's it actually takes for me, so much effort to play this game and to just do a review, especially since the game was... But we'll talk about this, okay? So don't think that my notes are super advanced. I know all the glitches. I know all the bugs because I don't, okay? Can we please talk about the individual mechanics of this game? I'm going to talk about the individual ones, and then I'm going to talk about the general experience as much as I possibly can from the top of my dome, okay? Whenever I do reviews, because I do reviews in Division 4, 3, 5, 1, Elite. You guys can see some of the reviews from Team of the Year. I can show you me climbing a guy to the Elite. People complain to me. They're like, Inception, why did you get me to Elite? Because that's where this game is at. They don't even want to go up Divisions because they want to maintain. I'm like, oh, I should have told you to maintain lower. And I don't blame them because the game is formatted like garbage. Okay? Okay, so let's talk about this game, guys. 
the first thing that I have here that I want to talk about is defending. Oh, defending this game. Uh, just saying the word defending made me want to puke. It made me want to puke. Because the inconsistent gameplay. If I'm playing in bad gameplay, the defending is chalked, guys. It's chalked, man. Can I show you guys something, bro? Let me just show you guys something really quickly. Just please, just bear with me over here, okay? You go to settings, right? In FIFA. You go to, uh, I don't even know if it's customized controls. It's not, it's, I don't even know. I don't even know because I'm not with this game like that, you know? Game settings. You know how you have this setting here? The switching? Oh my goodness. Oh my, I, it doesn't matter what number. It doesn't it's matter so if bad. I put the L1 switching to closest to the ball. Four, three, one, six. It doesn't matter. It's all garbage. It's all complete. No, trash. that setting is not even like the incompetence that, helpful, that you show to try to compensate for your absolute garbage in the game is mind blowing. This is trash. Guys, do me a favor, okay? They had a switching in the game that existed that was fine. But the problem is, is that when you played the game in Ultimate Team or whatever it is, you never got that same switching in the game. Let me show you guys. This clip that you guys are about to see over here, okay? This clip. This is from FIFA 20 Ultimate Team, right? And this is a discussion that I did with Kurtz during that time period about, you know, the gameplay inconsistencies, what was bad, what was good, all that kind of stuff, right? And there was a specific part of this podcast, right? Because I think it was either him or me that brought it up that when we're doing the switching online, it just doesn't work, right? It just didn't work. And I try to tell Kurt because I've done multiple tests about how to fix game. It doesn't matter, right? But there was a specific point of this podcast where I told Kurt, it's because you have never seen how good the switching is in the offline game mode. I want you guys just to watch this just for a second, okay? Like, watch this. Guess I'm going to give them the ball, Kurt, and watch the right stick switching, okay? Watch this. Oh, snap. Yeah, I'm not an expert here. With okay, the, look. With the... Up, down, left, up, down, left, up, down, left, 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 da up, down, left, oh up, my God. down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Oh my it God, he actually stop. right. Look at that. It doesn't <gasps> stop, Kurt. Look, I can switch. No problem. Look at the, look at the L1. Look at the L1, dude. Look at the L1 switching, Kurt. It's always near the opponent. Because that's, listen, bro. We talked about that last year. Listen, the way that attacking and defending makes sense, EA. You add all of this trash right here, all of this on it's your screen, so and true. you're making it that, worse. This is the same thing, in my opinion, is like them just not working on AI and putting player lock. Like, okay, we don't know how to do it. You move your players. Like, you play football, all your attackers move perfectly. Perfect runs. You have three different options. You have no options in this game. You have to player lock at the top level. It's the same thing with this, bro. How many times I'm on a... Somebody's on a counter and I'm screaming to the fucking chat. I can't switch. I can't switch. This guy's like on the byline. I'm like, chat, I can't switch to my center back. I'm screaming it, bro. All the time. I'm you, like, I can't switch. If you watch switching. a Foot Jams game, it happens. You have it. Three but times a game. Chat, I can't switch. In gameplay, it's terrible. We never it's got so that bad. switching in the online unless your gameplay. You know what like sucks too? Every... B besides him yapping about this, this is what sucks. What EA are doing with this, it's the same thing. They're not fixing anything. So what happens to you guys? You don't know what's going on with your switching. So you ask around. You're like, oh, how do I fix my switching, right? You check Reddit. You check Twitter. You check a Twitch stream. And people are like, oh, try this sensitivity, right? You try everyone's sensitivities. Nothing still works because this is BS, bro. This is another, like, EA BS mechanic that they just put in to make everyone smile for a little bit and distract them until they realize they haven't fixed anything, bro. It's the same thing. It's like a little distraction for you. You try two, you try eight, you try six. Nothing works, bro. Still doesn't work. Yeah, it's just what it is. Here bro. was at its best. So this, oh, this, I don't even like looking at this setting, guys. I don't like looking at this setting because you have a good switching. And you, and you did this, which actually makes it worse. And you know what this actually forces? And we're going to be talking about this after. DL, who? It forces people who? to do more park the bus stuff in the game because they need all the players to be bunched up together around that 18 yard box so that at least when they're switching, there is a better chance to actually switch to someone Jim, properly. Jacob, thanks. Okay? Look how long that took just to talk about the switching, okay? Just to talk about the switching. But you guys saw from that clip, FIFA 20 Ultimate Team, old gen, because we, we weren't doing new gen stuff there. And we're going to talk about this, right? And you can clearly see the, the switching being significantly better. So this, this whole situation you guys see on your screen right now, already makes defending in your game irrelevant because the switching is horrible i don't even know what that Eight, is Arthur. seven five doesn't matter all trash whatever your setting was there put that in the online nobody cares about this sw this switching thing nobody cares about your uh your your decision of goal side to classic to to, to closest nobody cares because that was the best switching that everybody would have been fine with you switch with your right stick to switch quickly to the guys outside and your l1 switches to consistently the guys closest to the ball 
for consi you know how many times i press l1 for closest to the ball and it switches to a guy in narnia and i'm uh, because i'm logically pressing l1 to then slide tackle right afterwards i'm slide tackling with a guy from narnia and he just has an empty sh uh, empty net to shoot at idiotic okay since we're only in defending right now okay that was just switching just switching guys okay we have it set to air ball, whatever it is. It doesn't matter. You have a good switching and you didn't make it consistent. Guys, let me tell you guys something. We're going to be talking about this specific thing as well. Play styles, you think, oh, this is such a cool thing to add into the game. Play styles is a way to manipulate you guys into thinking you need even more meta players. Okay? And what's the thing that irritates me the most is if I don't have the most basic play styles, cards become completely void. But this game strays further and further away from using general players and only using full meta to do bait guys we don't use full meta because we're rats we use full i can't say we because i don't even have a full meta team on any on any of my accounts because i don't care to grind the game like that right it's but like impossible to play without meta, we though. have full meta teams we all have the same mbappes and his right because we just need players that do the bare minimum yeah because when these cards are not meta you can't do basic things right ea because of your level of incompetence when it comes to you guys making the gameplay, you guys added both players in the team to have cursors on their head, right? You have cursors on their head. Why is it that you created a situation in your game where if the person has the cursor on their head and they're generally blocking an area really well, why did you add a passing mechanic years ago that people forgot about? They forgot about this passing mechanic, right? Let me see if the passing is actually here because it probably, it's probably not even described here. Let's see. Through pass, auto uh, passing, through pass assistance. Uh, okay, lots through pass. Is it this one? Let's see. Ground pass direction and power are both assisted. This ensures that ground pass to travel into the receiver's pass while also avoiding of, uh, opponent players. Guys, I want you guys to read that part right there, man. I want you to read that part right there for a ground pass, okay? Not a, not a, not a through pass, a ground pass. EA, if someone makes a bad pass, because they added this setting like four years ago. It was like four or five years ago. When I saw this, I was like... Who's the idiot that added this into the game? I want to know. Avoid opponent players? Guys, how many times do you do a regular pass and it turns into like a through pass because of that specific mechanic of avoiding opponent players? So when someone makes a poor passing decision, you're still going to reward them for making a poor passing decision. That's idiotic. You have cursors that exist for both teams because of your incompetence, right? Because the only reason why you added the cursor for both of the teams is because at your pro events, they had the cursors because it was a LAN event. So you're like... Oh, the quick fix, because this is how EA op operates. The quick fix for us is to put a cursor for that guy's team and for our team as well. But you can see the person's cursor. You can see them blocking a general area, but you still don't block the passing angle, even though you can see where he is defending? Do you know how idiotic that is? So I know what, what pass you're going to do. I know where you're going to direct it, but there's no... I, this is what I call it. This is something that I made up. I called it cursor defending, right? Because... If you can see that I'm blocking that area to, to block that pass, and you still make the pass there and it works, that's, that's crazy, man. Even if I block the area well... Guys, I'm not kidding, bro. Do you know how many times I literally block the area, and I, the moment he makes a pass, I have to right stick switch right away because I have to rely on the AI to do something? And then again with the play styles, guys. Oh, my... Play styles, the concept of play styles is cool, but the way that you guys do it is you, you focus so much on the meta and you push it so much to the meta where like players become void when they don't have simple things. So you're telling me, EA, right? You're telling me that you have this as a play style plus, right? Let me see if this card still has it. Okay. You are telling me, I'll put my face cam back on for the monitor. You're telling me that you have a play style plus and anticipate plus that says significantly improved chances of standing tackle success and grants the ability to stop the ball directly at their feet when performing a standing tackle why do we need a play style plus to do this guys listen you have to understand how bad play styles is in fifa because back in the day the only thing that you had to concern yourself with right was a player that either had good passing stats or good uh, defensive stats and you can have a card nowadays that has 99 interception standing tackles sliding tackles all of these things and if you have no play styles he is useless and what's so crazy about this situation is that you have Anticipate Plus, but you still don't get possession-based challenges. You have a specific mechanic, a specific play style that you put on a card for you to try to consistently do something, and you still don't get possession. Bro, the amount of deflections 
that happen in this game, I can't, bro. Why is it that when I approach the guy head on and do a good challenge, I don't get possession? You know what's annoying about like playstyle plus, like for example, anticipate. I personally feel like anticipate plus. If someone has it, they are way better at winning tackles. I don't think it's consistent enough to say, oh, someone has anticipate plus, they're gonna win it every time. What annoys me is that, like, there's the potential for EA to make defending a lot better than it is in terms of like possession based tackle wins right and they just don't like they just resort to a play style that's what's frustrating me a little bit about the play styles this year how effective some of them are like the incisive pass for example right like you can make and the long ball pass i have it with chavi you can make some of the craziest passes and i know it makes the players unique but what really annoys me is that if the player doesn't have the trait like they're just so much worse at it for example with defending right like I feel like almost all the defenders should have some sort of anticipate plus. It's annoying that I feel like you can get there, but they don't do it. And then all the base players end up just, as he said, like if they have 99 interceptions, they'll be a little bit better at intercepting. But unless they have the plus, it's like, it's annoying and frustrating that the potential is almost there, but it, it's only, you know what I mean? Kind of like, that's what's frustrating for me. I mean, yeah, obviously except VVD and stuff, but it's still not consistent enough at the playstyle plus with most playstyles. but it seems like that is at least a level a few levels above the base without having any play style so it, it's just annoying because i feel like a lot more players would be would we say like meta i don't know like usable if they just put the, the threshold for whatever the coding is for like the defending or like the you know it's like passing traits is such a good example though because we always complain in this game like as much as i love jota sometimes i make like a driven pass with him right and i'm like what the hell was that pass right or like eusebio makes a horrible pass randomly but you use players like Schneider and Xavi, and I, and I understand there's a lot of people that are like, oh, that makes that player unique, right? But it's frustrating because sometimes you make six-yard passes, and, you know, I think most of you guys know what I'm talking about with the ice skating thing, where I don't know if it's the run from the player or the pass, but, like, you know, let's say you're doing a cutback or something, or you're trying to play fast in a buildup with, like, driven passes, and, bro, boom, the ball just goes right behind the player for no reason. So that's what, that's what, yeah, like in the chat, like how can an icon player not make a five yard pass? Like it's gone so downhill because people always say like FIFA used to be too arcadey and now it's more realistic. That's the approach that people I think see it as now. But the problem with the, the upgrade, the downgrade to where we're at now is that in the arcadey version, dude, the passing was so much better. Like Chris, bro, you could like, I used to tiki taka, bro, all the way up the pitch, bro. Tap the ball in the net, you know? Just pass, pass, pass. One left stick dribble. You know, now it's like, for a couple of years, you know, I, I blame this entirely, like, you know, all of his rants and everything. And he was saying in the beginning, it was all on bad gameplay before. And, like, since we got to new gen, dude, like, the style of this game is just so, like, it's not realistic, necessarily. And it's also not enjoyable as a video game, which is the problem. Like, there's been FIFAs in the past that have not been realistic. We can name so many of them. But they've been fun. You know what I mean? And the problem is now EA have created this like crapshoot where there's no fun and there's no realism. Maybe some possession enthusiasts are going to argue that, you know, side to side to side. I just personally don't agree. Like, I feel like almost every stem of attack in this game resorts from you having to cut backwards, go backwards to go forwards. I think that's so wrong. Player lock cancel. And, and the reason you're doing that is because ultimately like the defensive AI is just so crazy. You're trying to throw off uh, the opponent to move their player out of position or I don't know, let's keep going. This is oh, a very Why are we long still one. talking about this? If someone wins possession of the ball against me because I am approaching him head on and he does a good challenge against me, give him the ball. No, you need, you need play styles to do basic things now, bro. If you're manually using a defender like Varane and you don't have intercept and the ball is like literally right next to you, he won't intercept the ball consistently, bro. If I have the cursor on a defender's head, it, the, the defending with that specific player should be significantly better compared to my AI that, guys, we gotta be honest, everybody relies on AI because everyone parks the bus. I don't wanna see a single person that says that they don't park the bus because when I play this game, everybody parks the bus. I can see your tactic, okay? The game by default parks your team. This is a fact, okay? But you are adding an extra tactic, an extra formation to do an extra park the bus. And the problem is, guys, is I can't blame them. You know why? Because yet another thing, okay? Because EA does, I don't know, I don't know if they're changing their teams. Uh, some guy changes something, and then two years later, the guy doesn't even remember that that thing was changed. I don't know. But I want you guys to see something, okay? 
So let's say, let's say you have your team, right? We're gonna do this, right? And now you notice that I'm putting on that defensive line, right? Okay, so you have this, let's say a 442 because we gotta use like the meta formations, right? Guys, the reason why people use super, super defensive tactics, they put 11 people behind the ball is because they need a tactic that forces this whole part right here, that midfield, to be able to transition that way. Do you guys want to know why? Because there was a specific year, I can't remember which one it was, it might have been three or four years ago yet again, right? Where EA, to try to avoid people parking the bus, these guys, and it still exists nowadays, right? These guys over here, unless the tactic is very park the bus or defensive oriented, they do not transition here up to a certain point if you're using a regular tactic. Right? They will not transition to a certain point because EA are like, oh, this is our way to fix the park the bus. But then they forget that they even add these things when they make new versions of their game. Okay? Because what happens when you are using a regular tactic and someone is attacking against you guys? What happens? I will show you what happens. Right? So let's get rid of those lines. Here we go. I will show you what happens. If you are using a regular tactic and these guys stop at a certain point from the transition but your team parks the bus by default what happens for the opposite team because of direct passing the most garbage tactic you guys probably ever added into your game get rid of it okay direct passing let's do a 442 as well guys guys what is the play style that you guys notice the most when you have to defend against people right it's them pushing up against your defenders. That is the play style in this game. There is no authentic attacking AI of this guy moving left and right, or oh, this guy has a unique movement to do that. No, the meta, right, is for the attackers to push up against the defenders and then to transition backwards like this. I'm gonna let you guys know right now, inconsistent gameplay already makes the skill-based aspect of this game completely void. But this right here, makes your game not skill-based to play because there's no unique attacking AI happening in this game. Because the reason why people are doing this, right, is because everybody's team in the defensive positions perfectly, without a shadow of a doubt, lines it up like this. Every single attack that you do, the defensive line is like this. And guys, when you are attacking or trying to use a sort of tactic that is unique and authentic, right, the problem that you are gonna face is that when you get to this whole position right here, this entire area right here, you no longer have good attacking AI. Authentic attacking AI is tossed yeah, out the there's window, no bro. runs after that. This by default makes your game trash, and this by default makes everybody. It's like play a half court offense on basketball. This the is reason why this game is so draining on. to play on a consistent really. basis is because I am facing the same person every single game yeah. who is only going to set up their team to park the bus. It's so true, though, because I'm like, when's the last time I felt like I played a unique, of all the like, attackers pressing up the uh, pressing up or someone defenders, that was, you know right? what I mean? Like, it's and so that's, interesting. That's like, you don't feel a lot of variety in this game. It just changes the players, but it's not this. For that transition there's backwards. nothing, like, unique about someone's play style. So then you can do a touch here, a touch I here. I remember in, like, older FIFA sometimes in foot champs, like, I would spend the first, I don't know if you guys remember this, like, even going back, like, pre new gen anyone that's played before new gen so like fifa 20 and below like sometimes in foot champs you'd have to spend the first 15 20 minutes figuring out how someone else played i swear to god almost every game the first 15 minutes for me was like okay how's this guy gonna play what formation is he playing how can i adapt my gameplay style i used to be so i used to destroy people man on fifa like but i used to lose a game or two every weekend and the reason i would lose is like I swear I would play one or two guys a weekend that were, were, in my opinion, not necessarily on the skill level that I was at at the time, but played such entirely different tactics, s such different play style than I was playing that I just got cooked. I got cooked. Like, and I didn't, and, and if I didn't adapt my tactics, like, let's just say it how it is. I've been playing 4 3 2 1 for two years. People come on my stream, they say, bro, you didn't update your tactics from last year. I use the same tactics. There's nothing different about my tactics. Isn't that saying something? I don't even use, back in the day, it's back in the day, like, yeah, but it's very true. I used to have a 4 one 2 2 narrow. I used to have a 4 2 3 one. I used to have a 4 4 2. I used to have a 3 5 2. I used to have four formations that I would adjust and use. And some games, if I was playing someone that used like, I don't know, some formation that I'd never seen or some play style I'd never seen or players I never played and, and it was a mix of all that, bro, I would change. Chat would be watching me. I would change like, okay, let's try this, right? First 20, nothing's working. Like it was so, and I, I don't love the idea that the game is dependent on tactics. 
But the problem is now there's no variety. I feel like everyone is either identified that they're kind of crap at the game, so they use whipped, whipped cross and a tall striker and play a five back, right? Here's the here's the three in my opinion. You've got the four four two users who have been playing four four two for since they literally were born, right? They just play four four two. They don't play anything else. Usually, if you play a four four two, they have an absolute god squad, right? Then you have the four three two one rats, which is me. Um, direct passing on that. It's the closest like concept we've had to a four one two two narrow. I think that's why it works so well for me. And really, like, there's not there's not really much else besides that. Like, just in my experience of who I'm playing in rivals and who I'm playing, you know, there used to be a lot more four two three one. Maybe it's coming back, but I haven't seen it as much. So there's not like when's the last time you've seen like. And, and look, this is the thing as well, because people are, are in the chat are all putting different formations. You guys are all wrong, okay? You're all wrong, and I don't want to be a dick to you, but the reality is those three that I just talked about are the 95 percentile of what people use, bro, when I'm playing in this game, in the top meta, in the rank one, rank two games, in the elite. That's what people play. There's these other guys that go on Twitter and say, try my four, five, who, you know, is a perfect example. Um... My boy Ricky on Twitter, right? His Twitter's blowing up this year because he posts good FIFA content. He posted a formation the other day, and you know what he said under the formation? This was really fun, but the 4-3-2-1 is just better. Like, so that's what people do now. They, they post these tactics for views because people are so drained out about the same stuff. They try out these tactics. I'm telling you, you guys try out any tactics besides the three I mentioned. They're not going to be as good. That's the problem. These are just so much better. One of my favorite videos I ever posted in my entire life through like eight years, right? Seven years. I'm just adding years at this point doing this. One weekend, I randomly used a 3-1-4-2. Like people were saying, oh, this is the worst formation in FIFA. I tried it in FIFA 20. I think I used Vieira at center back, like the baby. I, I had no defenders. I played with three defenders. I got some of the most unique runs, gameplay, attacks. My, my team was flying, bro. Flying. I had like... I think I had Sané. This was in FIFA 20. Trent in the midfield. Bro, I had so much fun because I woke up on a Friday and I said, let me try different tactics because you could. You literally could. That's the problem with this game. I would even say last game. It is such a... You're just stabbing yourself, bro. You, you're causing yourself pain, bro. If you... It, it's not... It's, it, it's probably possible for pros to do it. It's almost impossible for anyone. It's just not fun. Like, that type of thing is not fun anymore. It's because what he said, that, that preset back four, it just kills any attacking AI. One of the reasons that I'll say this, in terms of the way I play, because whether you guys want to admit this or not, I'm a rat, but I do feel like people like watching the way I play, because what do I do when I play this game? I'm trying to be as entertaining as possible. I try to fucking run forward. If you watch me play like this game, and I know that's why you say sell, and I probably lose a bunch of games because I'm being an idiot. Because the back four that he's talking about, right? I have that. There's nothing I can do. Like sometimes if I'm playing a really good player, I played Jay Mart the other day. Very good player. He has like R9, Mia Ham, right? I, I sent him a message after the game and I said, bro, you're one of the only normal people I play in rivals. I don't care if his team was 40 mil. He played normal. And here's, here's the deal, though. When you play other good players, you'll notice it with me. It looks like I'm parking the bus, right? Because what do the other good players use? Direct passing. They do what you have to do, which is go down the line, cut back, right? Anyone that runs to the byline on your end, your team is going to look like you're in draw back. There's nothing you could do. You could go on 100 depth. You could play three. Well, I don't even know what's the most attacking formation. Like 4-1-2-2 two, and two, narrow or some shit, right? I don't even know. It's going to look like you're parking the bus. For me, I, I, the way that I've been like compensating to play this horrible game, and in terms of, in my opinion, why I feel like somehow, some way on my second channel, still like 70, 80, sometimes 100,000 people watch my gameplay videos daily. I get the f***ing ball and I run, bro. I literally just go. I try to one, two, one, two. I try to just run at the goal, man. Because the problem is, if you run down to like, the corner, and I do do this. I also do this. I will totally admit, and I'm saying I can't even control that I do park the bus sometimes as well. The problem is, though, there are some people that, yes, if you were going to play this game for the full entire meta, what you should do, you should run to the corner, cut back, diagonal pass to the top right of the box to your CM, 
switch it again and then driven pass into the striker because you'll finally have a 1v1 the same thing he's talking about they're doing the post-up thing and then you have to do a skill move right and score that if you are playing this game for the most meta is how you score almost every single time almost every single time you will score that way it's it's just but it's sad because like it's it's sad because like the where it was man this game like four years ago bro even just four years ago was in such a better spot i always go to this one because i don't know you know people watching the stream uh, people watching this if it's going up as a video although youtube's probably not gonna let me upload this because it's probably gonna be three hours you know for me like this is what the example i always show everybody bro this is in fifa 20 right like i want you to watch this because look at this right here right all right so this is no longer this is no longer a counterattack, right no longer by the way this guy quit playing the game and i can't blame him a lot of people you see stepping away from this game are people that are not are people that are pre-exposed to what we had right and we didn't know what we had until we lost it a lot of things in life go that way it's just unfortunately how life is you have to appreciate every moment and I, and I know that's cringe because we're talking about a freaking fifa game here but i'm serious right like we did not know how good we had it because this is no longer a counter-attack now right and people, I remember in FIFA 20, people were complaining the game was too slow. True. The game has been too slow for a while. People were complaining it was too parked to bust. That's also true. But what I can tell you is that the setup of the AI, you you won't see anything like this. Once you go down the line or you stop your forward motion, look at how many defenders he has in the box. Right? Even when he runs down to the line, this is... Now, the, look, the attacking AI, it's nothing to be super wild about but at least they're showing options and runs D look at the midfielders right you don't have to, bro there's not there's nothing like this bro nothing man there's nothing like this dude that's not realistic though it doesn't matter bro because because everyone who said in the, they liked the game in the recent years right they're arguing something about realism bro in my in my opinion i don't know what level of football you played i have no idea all i can tell you is that i play Brother, it's this game requires you to go backwards almost every single time before you go forwards. That is not realistic, right? So the problem with EAFC 24, there's no realism, which is what they're advertising and what the purists of somehow... Let's be honest, bro. There's certain people that just deride EA, and I'm not even talking about content creators. I'm talking about people that, for some reason, will defend the game in the last couple of years I, in the direction it's gone. I quite like it. I like, I don't know. I, I do feel like some people have a complex in life that they, they love to have different opinions. Like, because what Inception said in this video, the only thing I will say about those people is that there's no freaking way they've played any of the FIFAs before the new gen. So I'll let them off the hook for that reason, because if they're purely comparing 21, 22, 23, 24, for me, it's understandable if they'd never played another video game, right? I don't want to hear shit, bro. I don't want to hear you talking about realism. When has FIFA ever been realistic, man? Please tell me, okay? And this is what I'm arguing right now. EA have sucked all the fun out of this game. This game has never been real, bro. What are you even talking about? Even, even in my experience, a couple of the years that you have been able to play FIFA in, in the greatest form of it, right? With the highest skill. I'll tell you a couple of the years that I've thought really had high skill. FIFA 20. FIFA 17, FIFA 18, we can go back before that. It's not relevant because that's going to be a decade ago and a lot of people won't remember how they went. Let's talk about FIFA 17, right? What the hell was realistic about somebody looking like they're doing a Michael Jackson moonwalk backwards 10 yards before they went forwards? But, but this mechanic allowed extremely high volume gameplay going forward with passing and pace, pace, right? Yes, you still have the problem where you're going backwards. The problem now is you have to you have to do this to, to, to go forward. Fake shot stop, left stick backwards, R1 dribble, then pass the ball diagonally backwards. The difference with the FIFA 17, you do a little crab walk backwards, boom, 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 you go forward, right? FIFA 18, all about the counters, all about just speed of game. If you played FIFA 18, most games were like 9-7, all right? What the hell is realistic about that? What the hell is that being the worst year of kickoff we ever had? You couldn't celebrate a goal until you genuinely got the ball back because there was a 50% chance of a low-driven kickoff in FIFA 18. FIFA 20, people complain so much about the dragbacks, right? What is what is realistic about getting the ball 
to a striker every single possession and doing a drag back, right? Every single, there's nothing realistic about it. But that game has very high skill. Very high skill, that game. People sleep on it, all right? We're not going to talk about FIFA 19. Somehow this year has surpassed FIFA 19, but nothing realistic about it, right? Faster gameplay as well. Incredibly horrible game, though. Um, there's no realism in FIFA. So the problem is now... EA are advertising realism by slowing the game down, making you go backwards to go forward, which was not always a thing of the past. Now it's a necessity, and there's no fun in this game. There is... Chat, there is zero fun, bro. You can't look me in the eyes and tell me you... Are, look, this is the thing. If this game this year... I'm going to be totally real with you. If this game didn't have Evos, I, I think half the people wouldn't be playing this game. I think Evos are that significant to this year's game because they're a new addition and people like building up their teams to the specific players. Bro, that is making the game at least somewhat for people. But if you think about it, right? If you think about it, even for the Evo people, this game <clears throat> is entirely homework. <coughs> it's entirely homework. You are doing a problem set when you play this game I can't even tell you if I've had one foot champs this year that I said, oh, wow, I had a really good time. No, I, bro, EA have purely, the content team this year has, and look, the content, sometimes, that's is sehr scheisse, man. Horrible. Sometimes it's terrible, right? I'll tell you, man, I don't even know what they're doing with some of the player SPCs. What I will tell you, though, is this. The content team has absolutely saved this game. Here's why. I hate rivals. You can get an 82-10 and 81-11, all that stuff, right, for the seven wins. So if you just take a step back, nobody is playing this game for fun. Even you guys who convinced yourselves that you're playing this game for fun, doing the Evos, you are not. You want to get that card, but you're just doing your homework. You have to play your six games. You have to play your eight games. You have to win your eight games, right? And that's, that's good because... I'm telling you, we've needed objectives like that and things to do for a while. But this is what I'm resorting back to. To all these people arguing it is real, bro. There's nothing real about this game. And there's nothing fun. No one's playing this game for fun. Everyone is... And I'm guilty of it. I'm guilty of it. But every day I wake up and I try to continue to, to, to do my thing, bro. Get the rewards. Do what we can every week, right? A lot of you guys tune in for that stuff. That's why I'm doing it every day, right? Obviously, I... Look, because then there's going to be people saying, bro, is this guy really complaining? I'm not complaining about, about what I do every single day. I'm complaining on behalf of everyone in this community, bro, who doesn't do this as a job, who works in uni or, or, or goes to uni, who works in, 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 in uh, construction sites all day, who works a nine to five, who works finance jobs. I'm complaining on behalf of you guys, bro, who want to come home and play a football game that you want to look forward to and play for fun. That's who I'm complaining for, bro, okay? Because this game is just work, man. People just play this game to get the packs, to upgrade the team, and that's it. And to stare at their team and then flex their team. Let's just call it how it is. That's how it is, bro. That's how it is. It's what it is, chat. Every single person, whether you want to... If you can deep dive into really why you're playing this game, may, the only other thing I'll tell you is this. People, people say, oh, why are you still playing this game, right? There's a couple reasons, right? I feel a duty every game every day to wake up, all right, and destroy people, right, in front of a live audience, two, to make money, and three, I love football, bro, all right, I watch a lot, I love playing, bro, I literally love playing more than anything, okay, a lot of people resonate, that's not this, that's not the word, whatever the word you want to make for that, is that the word, no, that might be the word, a lot of people feel the same as me, this is the only game on the market, bro, resonate, sorry, resonate, right? All right. I need to go back to school. A lot of people feel the same as me, okay? Because, like, the number one comment I never understand in these streams is people come in and go, yo, why are you still playing, right? Why are you still playing? Bro, this is, this is the only, the only, the only, listen, this is where that comment, in my opinion, is valid, right? If we fast forward in three years and we have genuine competitors to this game, because for years we haven't, I'm not going to name the games because there's probably going to be even more. If, if you're not at least rotating or trying these other games and, and you know, like maybe FIFA, you're playing 30%. The other game, you're playing 30%, right? But, but there's no validity in saying that right now because for some people, bro, this is how FIFA has genuinely survived. And it's sad to say it's, it's genuinely just off the sport, bro. Like people will buy this. Guys, this game this year could be 100 times worse 
because people call me a hypocrite, right? People call me a hypocrite, but what people don't realize is that I'm a, I'm a very self-aware man, right? Let's give you an example, and this doesn't have to get hyped up from the chat, right? The gambling this year is going off the two chains, bro, right? It's going off the wall. I was doing the store packs with the chat. I'm done. I haven't even, when's the last time I did it? I made that video. You haven't seen me do it one time unless somebody got on the share play and did it, and I wasn't even asking for it. I'm, I'm a man of my word. I tell you guys something, I make the change. That's what it is, bro. I'm self-aware, right? I don't even know where I was going with that point, to be honest, because this is a generational waffle right now. So I'm going to like look at the chat and pretend like I'm realizing what the fuck I was just going to say. I don't even know what I was just going to say. Does anyone know where I was going with that? No, that was that was actually segueing to something else. I can't even remember what I was just going to say. People are going to say, oh, you know, watching this rant video or complaining about this. And look, what's going to what's he going to do after? Right. He's going to go play FIFA. That's absolutely true. I have 13 weekly games to play. I'm self-aware. I'm telling you, do I necessarily want to be doing that? No, but can you show me the door to where else I'm supposed to be? Please show me the door, bro. I am the only guy. Don't even listen to me right now. Everyone, I want you to all listen to me. I'm serious because I'm very angry about this point right here when people say this, okay? I am the only guy, bro. Go look at my stream charts. I have played 300 hours of eFootball. 300 hours of a game where the players genuinely, yes, there's football that plays more than FIFA. That game plays more than FIFA, but it's from 1988. Let's be real. Do I enjoy playing it? Yeah, I do. I'm the only guy, bro. I don't want to see anyone else maybe other than Manny. And that is the only other football game on the market. So don't call me a hypocrite. When this is all I have, bro, this is the only game to play. And the other alternative, which is a free-to-download game that, let's be honest, they just don't have it to be able to compete. I have been the one that has ventured over there with half my viewership. Who cares? I don't give a shit. But that's where I'm consistent. That's not Pez product placement. That's just being real. That's the only other game we've had for so long. So let's be let's be realistic here about who's actually hypocritical or trapped in FIFA or like whatever your narrative is, man. Cause that's a joke to me when I hear shit like that, bro. That's just a joke. Like you, what are you even talking about? Cause when I go in that category, there's 400 people playing the game, and I already told this entire chat when these other games come out, bro. I'm gonna be doing 10 hour streams, bro. I'm gonna do the best I can to give feedback to these companies and to test their product. I don't care if these pack addicted FIFA kids are in my chat waffling about how they want to see some certain SBC card done and try the card out and play FIFA. I don't give a shit, man. I don't care, bro. All right. I'm going to play the gameplay that I want to play and I'm going to try my best, bro, to help these companies, man, make a good game because at the core of it, I am fully aware EA, the daddies of my job, they have made me a hundred percent, right? And a lot of you guys watch me specifically. For FIFA, that is absolutely true. I'm fully, like, I'm self-aware. I'm as self-aware as it gets, bro, in the world, right? But I hate EA, man. I hate EA. And when I started doing what I did, EA was not the same company. FIFA was not the same game. And everything at some point, the, 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 the love relationship with something, it comes to an end, bro. And this is what I always tell people, bro. In the future, if there is gameplays that I personally enjoy more than FIFA, I will... Guys, this is where people, like, I, this, I'm just, I, like, I wrote so many papers in college. All I can think about when I talk is counterclaims because I see the chat go, me, 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 right? I will always play. What a garbage ass name EA Sports FC is, man. It's so bad. They changed it from FIFA to that. It's so f garbage right i will always play this eafc game 100 percent. you want to know why because i actually really enjoy i always love growing up like fantasy football i've never been like a huge gambler with like money i don't do that stuff i really enjoy sbcs bro i really enjoy doing upgrades i think ea had that like down pat right but if there's any other competitors gameplay wise let's just circle back to where we originally started in this point i'm playing this game gameplay wise for pure homework dude Pure homework. The excitement that I had logging on yesterday to open my 88 plus to get Dino, right? I don't even know the last time I had excitement. I do. FIFA 23, there was times in the year where I was really excited to try cards. I don't even know. I don't even know this year, like, who I've been excited about trying. You know what I'm saying? You're saying a whole lot of nothing. Stop, man. Stop. Just let me cook, all right? It's your job, too. No, it is my job. But I'm just talking about the, the perspective that the gameplay is so homework-based. You know? 
But that's not always how it's been for me. That's not, bro, last year, like, last year, because I did feel like the gameplay, at least last year, was, I, I feel like most people think that FIFA 23 was a lot better than EAFC 24. Am I on my own island? I feel like it was a lot better, like, all around. Now, last year when I played that game, obviously, at times, I was like, oh my god, it's horrible, right? And, like, obviously, at the end of the year, when people ask my rating about it, I'd probably say, like, a 4 out of 10, a 5 out of 10. There was definitely times in the year that I really enjoyed it, gameplay-wise. It's far from perfect. No football game is ever going to be perfect, but the direction they've gone with this year's game, oh my god, it's very frustrating, bro, you know? So that's probably the last time I was playing last year, bro, until September. Let's call it how it is. Like, I was uploading gameplay videos, freaking running around with Millie Savage in the midfield as a goalkeeper, shit like that, man, you know? I don't know if that's what it's going to be this year. I don't know if that's what it's going to be. I think the Euros will be really nice for this game on the menus. That's going to really save us, but I think a lot of people, bro, I mean, I, I've never seen this many people in my chat, dude. You guys who watch me, bro, there's been an all-time high for people resubbing saying they don't play the game anymore. I mean, I don't even know out of my entire career the amount of times I've heard people donate in my chat saying they don't play the game anymore. Like, we're talking, like, it's double digits daily, bro, of people say, hey, man, love you, love the streams, I don't play this game anymore, right? Like, people just done. And I, personally, guys, I don't blame any of them for it. I'm happy to be the guy that you watch suffer through it, but, oh, God, man, it's just, it's a, tr I, I just genuinely feel like there was moments last year where people acquired cards and were excited to use them. Even, like, most days... The SBC players that EA even released, like, no one's even excited about. EA used to drop players, even last year at 1 p.m., and chat would go crazy. Bro, play a game. Try this card. I don't even see that one time this year when they drop SBC cards or anything, bro. I don't see anyone in the chat saying, yo, go play a game, right? Like, no one, like... So, actually, that's a lie. There is, like, two guys that, for somehow, some way... All right, but anyways, this is all a tangent off this clip right here, right? Even he cuts back... This is FIFA 20. Look what happens even when he cuts back, right? So at this point, when, you, when you're making that backwards transition run, for sure, in, in the modern age of FIFA, how many, like, dude, you think you have that space of how many yards is this? 15 yards? Like, no way, dude. No way. Like, genuinely, right now, in the box, he's got a 4v4. I don't even know the last time I had 4v4. Now, the midfield tucks in, right? But still, look. Like, you still have all the space you need. Just crazy to me. All right. What a... What a Dude, we're not gonna be able to finish this video, but what a and waffle. Do Here we go. An elastical to then shoot it across Sorry. the ball. Or to touch the ball, to touch the ball here, to touch the ball over here, and then to do, to do a step over acceleration. I almost, I, I almost want to puke. Guys, I'm the type of person, and I know a lot of you guys do not agree with this, all these FIFA mechanic stuff things, I wish were nerfed to the ground, bro. I wish they were nerfed to the ground, man. Okay, let me show you guys something, man. The step over acceleration. If you guys don't know, what, guys, I don't watch the competitive in this game. If I watch the competitive, I would lose brain cells. Okay, can I just where, where is this? The, the 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 learn to play is no, not training center. Just go to the just go to the skill arena, skill games, practice arena. Go to practice arena, guys. This 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 trash, this trash that people that people spam. I. I guys like this stuff man just your people literally will be in the side areas over here and they'll just do this just to get a speed boost i i can't so you're, you're doing you're doing a step over just to get a speed boost against the air and i face people that do this all the time step over and then just just for a speed boost see this stuff irritates me because when i play a football game i actually want to play football right no one's going to be step overing the air just because they know it gives them a speed boost no one's going to do that okay when i play a football game it's because i have the intention of actually playing football. So when I see someone doing this, and they do, and, and then they, they touch the ball just for the acceleration, I can't stand it. And I guarantee- Yo, to be fair, in my opinion, I know you're saying own goal, but in the in the attacking side of things, I, I disagree with him, personally. But yes, as a fullback or like as a defender to just get speed, it's, it's, it's actually so stupid. To you, oh, I, I mean, I disagree with him because I think it's an effective one v one. That's the thing they're spamming the most. For and sure. the fact that we still have speed. this in this game after so many years is irritating beyond belief. But like to beyond do it in the back belief, and everything, okay? I totally agree with we you. We have so many trash things that, the, that EA adds into this game that I'm going to talk about because this is this is me talking about attacking, right? 
which we're gonna get but into you shouldn't, afterwards. You shouldn't. But the problem is you shouldn't all have of, to like, do those it to things. Get the the speed, skill right? games and stuff. Like we'll That's we'll talk I about that afterwards, totally right? Because with. we're we're talking about the defending right now. But this 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 style of attack that people do against you, right? <sighs> Look, can I just show you guys something? And you guys correct me if I'm wrong. Y you guys correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. And some of you guys that have watched the previous Rand videos, especially from last year, because it's the same thing this year. Okay. If you view this game as any sort of like, if you like any of these game mechanics, or you think that this game is skill based in any sort of way to a certain point, because if you have basic football knowledge, you will be good at any football game that you play, right? Period. Any FIFA game I play, I can get to the elite division at, at some point. I'm not amazing at the game. There's some people that are cracked. I faced a guy the other day that was like insane, right? I'm not amazing at the game, but I'm pretty decent at it to get to the elite at least every year. If you say one year that you can get to the elite and then one year that you couldn't, it's because you're not good in the regular football sense to, to, to get to the top divisions, okay? This needs to be said. But guys, you do me a favor because if you think I'm overreacting or you know being cringe with whatever, you do me a favor and you guys tell me if I'm wrong when it comes to what you guys face every single game, okay? All right, so we'll do 442, right? 442, and then we'll do another 442 here. Wait, so basically, what he's saying is that if you can't get to the elite division every year, no matter what the meta is, that you're just not good enough football wise. Is that what he said? All right, I agree with that. That's true. 442, 442. Okay, so for those of you that try to use, for those of you that, that try to use you tactics that are, that are not totally the meta of this game, right? that are not super defensive, please tell me if this is not the play style that you guys face every single game, even after the patch, it doesn't matter, okay? Okay, so... Give Inception 442. Let's just push this out a little bit here, <laughs> right? Push this out a little bit here, push this out a little bit here. Okay, cool. Okay, so tell me this is not the regular experience that you guys face every single game because this is what this game is. It, by default, this is a game I would not play if it weren't for content creation because when you see this stuff, I used to try to avoid this play style as much as possible and this is what you play every single game, right? Okay, so when you're defending, is your defending not like this the entire time, right? So your defensive line's like this, defensive line's like this, all like this. And this is you using a, a park the bus tactic because you have to because of the pressure that each individual attacker puts against your defenders because that's the attacking AI in this game, which doesn't make it skilled by default, okay? By default because the AI is doing everything for you and all you're looking for is the same pattern of play, okay? You tell me if I'm wrong at any point here, okay? You go into the side position, right? You go into the side position. I'll, I'll leave the strikers a little bit up here, right? And uh, this is a um, this is a four four two, right? So we have we have this, we have this, we have this. Okay, you guys tell me if this is not the play style that you face every single time, okay? Regardless of the patch that EA recently added, people are only utilizing the side positions. Just the side positions. Why? Because the attacking AI in this game is some of the worst you will ever see in your entire life. And you know why it's some of the worst? It's because we play on the new gen version of the game, and it's because of this defensive line that you see right here, okay? Attacking AI almost being like void in your game makes your game complete trash to play. So you guys see all these things here, right? Let me just take some of this stuff out. All right. You tell me if this is not the place you face all the time. This guy over here, all the time, runs into the side position. Right? He runs into, into the side position. I'm defending with this player. Sometimes this guy over here does not track back. You need defense to, uh, to, to block. It's this area right here. You see that area right there? That's what everybody's looking at. Everybody. Everybody who's willingly playing this game for free, that's what they're all looking for. Okay? That area right there. If the guy is attacking against you, does he not do this every single time? You tell me. Okay. I just told you guys this, right? He goes all the yeah. way to the side position. He's going to show you this. He then cuts back. <laughs> he, either, he either cuts back or he just keeps using technical dribbling over here and then does a driven pass. That's one. That, even with the patch, that's still a play style. Okay. So because you have to watch for these two angles and because transitioning with defenders is so horrible manual wise which is why everybody parks the bus because they rely on ai more than manual defending to get the ball they have to rely on full meta defenders to get the ball randomly from them for from ai like second man press maybe right so it's either they do this where they go all the way to the side position and do a driven pass even if you double tap r1 you're still not marking every single player even if you're parking the bus the park the bus situation helps you as, helps you as much as possible right but that's the one place style where they go into that area but the main one the main one is this one right here. Why do they run forward? Why does this car, this blue guy, run forward and then cut back? Because by the time he cuts back, these attackers that were once pushing against the defenders have now transitioned this way. And if you are not using a park the bus tactic, you do not have these four red guys there. Right? So because they have now transitioned, you have four attackers that have basically created an open spot. 
against your defenders, right? Four of them. And what they look for the most, if the person is parking the bus, is to do 1v1 Mortal Kombat skill moves just to get past somebody. Because attacking AI becomes void here, but with the attackers in general, when your opponent is not playing a defensive line here from the midfield, but he's playing it here because of the of the adjustment that EA did before with the midfielders not tracking back all the way, right? If they don't have a park the bus tactic, this is the easiest way to score afterwards. Because what do you do? You do these absolute garbage mechanics that exist within this game. Step over acceleration. The the heel to heel on the L1. Let me show you guys the heel to heel um, with the L1, right? So learn to play. Um, and then we go to practice arena, the heel to heel L1. I use this skill move all the time, but don't think for a second that I like it because if it was a regular game and I wasn't, a, uh, I wasn't a content creator, I wouldn't even be bothered. Be, I wouldn't bother be like doing these things in, in general, right? This skill move, right? This is the type of stuff that they add in the game. Who has, who has skill moves in this team? I don't even know what team I'm using over here. Who has skill moves? Do you have skill moves? There you go. Boom. This skill move right here, the L1 heel to heel to get past someone. The step over, the step over acceleration just to get past someone on this. You can see the speed boost. You can see it when I'm using it there, right? The speed boost, um, the, 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 the L1 Elastico, the L1 Elastico, right? L1, I can't do it with this guy because he doesn't have it. I think that this guy maybe, I don't even know who this team is, right? L1, this, that's a skill move that pops off, right? But it's the L1 Elastico because the AI behaves a certain way. And then you just shoot. It's so incredibly boring. You face rats that are willing to do this for free every single game, okay? Can I just show you guys an example just from like the practice arena? Okay. Let me just show you. You have to do this. Show you an example. Tell me you don't face this person the entire time. Okay, I'm gonna go here. R1. R1, 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 R1. This is kickoff, so the attacking Otherwise guy is not gonna work right score. away, right? It goes back. So it goes back because the player's transition. What are you oh, supposed to do? Right yeah. here. And then I have to do that, and then I score. Exactly. Right? How many times I score that goal? Okay. Five hundred? Let's do that again. Sure. And again, it's kickoff, so kickoff's attacking AI doesn't activate right away when you're playing the game normally. You have to wait a little bit for it. Right? You get into these situations here. Right? And you do this skill move or, you know, this skill move here, right? Okay. So you're, you're back in the side position here. Right? Look at his midfield. Do you see the midfield? Do you see the midfield? Right? Look at where my attackers are doing. It's transition, forward, track back. I, this doesn't even have an actual tactic on the team, but that's what it is. You can see where the space is inside the, the 18. Line, so what do you dude. do, right? You're pushing so here. Ugly, you're cutting back. Bro. You're passing. My you're passing, God. you're doing this, and you're going for a green time strike here. That's what the play is every single time. It's either that one, right? It's either that one, and it's funny, I make these rant videos, it's almost like I'm teaching the rats how to play the game, right? So it, it, just be mindful, guys, that when this rant video comes out, you're gonna come up against this more often. Honestly, I don't care because I'm, I'm already coming up, up against it all the time anyways, right? And then what's the other one, guys? The other one is over here, is when you're attacking in the side position, yeah. right? Here, up, and at some down. point, right? right at there, some point, you see his side. right center back? That attacker is the left one that side. they aim for every single time because that transition from this side over here to this track back here, that pass, and then they have that free pass here. Yeah. That's play. the other one that they work for the most as well. That's Dino play right That's there. all you face the entire game. It's that specific mechanic all the time. And it's someone constantly parking the bus and going for the counter attack in the side position to then do a driven pass it's actually like all you score against a guy crazy, that's not bro. using park the bus but you think that you have value in the goals that you score no you're out of your mind this is a game that is a valueless game because the goals that you score do not carry any value because every sort of attack that you do is against this defensive line inside the 18 yard box and all you are waiting for as the attacker is the constant track back just to score an opportunity but you guys think I like doing this when I'm doing the reviews. No, let me show you a footage that I deleted the other time. Let me just show you guys from like the recording over here, okay? Because I just want you guys to th see the example of like the attacking Bro, AI that I'm talking to you guys about. I would never want to be on Inception's bad side with all the receipts this guy has. This dude has every file he's ever recorded in like probably specific folders. This dude is probably the most organized guy I've ever seen. Of the push forward comeback and the Mortal Kombat 1v1 stuff that you have to do to score goals in this game. I don't like this stuff. Okay, I hate that you basically void my attacking AI in its entirety if I need to play a meta way of playing your game, okay? I want you to watch Correa here the whole time. I want you to see what his attacking AI is the entire time, okay? And then I want you to see the goal that I score. What's the Correa attacking AI, guys? The Correa attacking AI is push forward, track back, push forward, track back, push forward, track back, push forward, track back. There's no like movements that's unique of the players doing this and that there's none of that happening it's push forward track back like a robot let me just cut off this clip and just you, you'll see how depressing it is just for me to do a 1v1 mortal Kombat play just because i can't like do crazy breakdowns on a, on a consistent basis because the game is not based off of that you know
Oh, this game is so fucking horrible, man. I don't like. I don't. Do you think I care about getting making that guy rage quits? Do you think I care about scoring those types of goals on a consistent basis in this game? That and that that's not even like a bad example. That's just an example that I can recently remember from doing one of my player reviews. That it's just stuff that I have to remove from the videos, right? Where you just play like a robot to to get wins in this game. These are not unique. These are not skilled goals. This is garbage. This is garbage, man. The same three, four attacking plays. Most people that I face, guys, it's park the bus, counterattack, and pace. Whoever brought back pace. There's no cohesiveness with EA. There's no cohesiveness because you know what? We're gonna we're gonna talk about pace because pace is part of defending, guys. Okay, pace is part of defending. Let's talk about the pace, guys. There was a point last year, right, where the only players that were like really fast were the lengthy players. But your trade-off is that they're horrible at dribbling. But then the controlled and explosive players are the ones that can dribble and have like that certain attacking AI. But they didn't feel as fast. The fast part that was nice to have when brought back is AI pace in build-up play. But a huge mistake that you guys make, and you guys that are watching this video, you're going to be like, oh, but this wasn't a mistake. No, you want it because you want to be able to score easy goals without using your brain cells. You just want to park the bus counter. You guys want pace to be overpowered in this game because you just want to park the bus counter. I know that's what you want to do because you do it every time they bring back pace. Oh, man, I, I loved it. In, 20, in 23, before that dribbling patch that brought, that brought back pace, I loved it, dude. I loved I loved going to TikToks, going to Twitch streams and seeing people like, oh, I can't believe that I can't make this like forced run and forced pass just to score the simplest goal of all time. <laughs> Don't come into here, guys. Don't go into streams and talk about realism because when you guys watch football, you know that most of the goals scored in real life football for a video game would be trash. You know this. Most of these goals are trash. Oh, but Inception, it's a football simulator. It's not a good one because you, none of you guys even play that realistic way. Because you just do the, guys, you just, you look at what's overpowered. I'm teaching, I'm, I'm literally, I'm making this as a rant, but I'm, I'm at the same time, I'm teaching you guys how to be more ready because the last time I made this rant video, I faced more of you guys when I had to go do my reviews. Because you guys play this game because you're addicted. That's the only logical explanation to willingly play like a robot every game. Guys, it drains me to do this stuff. I don't know how people could do this for free and just do this all the time. The new gen version of the game has always been a nothing game, guys, okay? We already had problems with the old gen version and then they got to a point where they actually improved certain things, like base mechanics wise. Like I said, I, I missed the days where my main complaint was inconsistent gameplays, right? or in inconsistent gameplay, which is still the main complaint because every year it makes it trash because you never fix it and you never will fix it. It could be for next year's game, it could be for two years from now, it doesn't matter, it'll always be the same, right? But the base core mechanics for the new gen version of the game is not skill based. I don't know why I'm catching messages from people when I beat them like 3, 2, 4, 2, 4, 1. Why are you sending me? Why do you view this game in that way? None of this is skilled. It's trash. Oh, use this tactic. Use this formation. Use this. Use this. And it doesn't matter what formation and tactic you do. You're going to do the same play style anyways. Because of this defensive line and because of direct passing that EA don't, they're never going to remove. I even, I, you know what I, you know what I had to do recently? I, I bought the game on PC just to try to see if it like, to, to, to boost me back into the game to like really do like a bunch of content, right? No chance, bro, because the base mechanics are horrible. We're still in the defending area, guys. You tell me if this is not the play style that you guys face all the time, yeah? Where all you do is wait for the track back, get inside the 18 yard box, this these midfielders don't block these guys if the person is not parking the bus with his tactics which everybody has to do and I, I face everybody that does it right tell me this is not what you do every single game this is not unique this is not skill based this is lazy from ea realism this publicity publicity it's trash man guys i'm talking about core base mechanics imagine dealing with all this when you can't switch you cannot transition left and right properly when someone uses technical dribbling ag against you, I don't know what it is, but it's almost like someone has your shirt. Someone's pulling, pulling you back from just moving in the direction that they're using technical dribbling because they have to add a new mechanic to the game and make it overpowered to make the game look like it's new. You know what's part of defending that we need to talk about as well? The corner kicks. 
Okay, I'm sorry if I forget any other tactics or any other other like situation in the game, guys. But the corner t corner kicks, bro. The corner kicks. There is no possible way to defend the corner kicks unless you have an absolute not full meta, an absolute full meta team, and you do this. Yeah. You do a lot of this. So bro. crazy, man. There's no way. There is no way because there's so much trash, guys. Again, please tell me if I'm wrong when you face these people. Be be my guest, okay? Do you not face people that when they do a corner kick against you? When they do a corner kick against you, there's no skill aspect to this. They just, people just find ways to do, to do the easiest things. One, hey, rats, uh, hey, I'm teaching you guys more ratty things. Yay me. But it's okay, because I don't play the game normally anyways. It's fine. Do my content and call it a day. Over here. Tell me if people don't do this on a consistent basis. Oh, I just got a corner kick. Okay, I'm going to go over here. Oh, you know what I'm actually going to do? I'm actually going to call a player close. And then when I call this player close, I'm actually going to wait for this guy to transition this way or i make i make the pass over here because it's over here actually right i make the pass over here right i wait for that transition to the left side or to this side right here i do a first time cross and the transition of my attackers is insane and a lot of the times defensive ai just you know they look at this area right here they look at this area right here that far post area and they're just like Oh, you know I'm gonna do that? It's okay. For the far post crosses. Free header. Free header, no problem. Oh, excuse me. Let's do another one, right? Let's do another one, guys. What's the other corner kick tactic? Oh, let's teach people. That's oh, you just face this angle right here, and all you do is three and a half bars of power, whatever the hell, whatever it is, right? Because I I because when you play the game, you could see people doing this, and you got Virgil van Dyke just bunking on you. <laughs> <laughs> every single time bro virgil van dyke on the corners but when i see when i see someone have virgil van dyke in their team i i can already expect to maybe could see like three corners if the guy abuses the corners bro i do this because it doesn't matter do you know how many times oh my god this irritates my soul like crazy do you know how many times someone does a, a corner kick and i am blocking the exact guy <laughs> so that he's gross. launching the corner kick to and my goalie just he's like nah right next to him sometimes he goes back into the net Sometimes he will go back into the net, even though he's next oh to the my. guy he's crossing the ball to from the corner kick. And he just tells me to go screw myself, bro. That's what he tells me to do. You know how many times that happens? And it doesn't, it doesn't matter if I put a defender in front of the attacker. No, you got stuff like aerial plus now, right? Or if you're up against Virgil van Dijk because he has crazy animations, you're up against that. And if you don't have a full meta defense, right? Because just the jumping stat doesn't cut it anymore, guys. Just having 90 jumping doesn't cut it anymore. You have to have aerial plus or aerial for them to really jump right for the corner kicks guys the corner kicks are not skilled either all of these goals that you are scoring majority of them there's one guy faces here was actually fun to play against him it was the first time in like honestly years that we scored like normal goals against each other years it's impossible for this to, for this to even happen right but all of these goals that you're scoring from a corner kick it's because you're doing research finding what's overpowered and even if the person knows that you are going to do it it doesn't matter what do you guys see in my reviews all the time bro you guys see this thing that i do you think I, do you think i like doing this stuff no but in the reviews, I have to be just to add in like the amount of times that I concede corners is so just unfathomable, bro. Like I move the center, but I'll move a midfielder into the box because I see my opponent loading the player to the near post. It's usually VVD. I'll move a midfielder and I'll move a center back in my team, like in front of VVD. And I'll put a midfielder like Vieira on VVD. And I'll also move the keeper, like even in that area, <laughs> dude. And like it's crazy i put like three or four players including my goalkeeper on exactly where i know they're going and it's a goal it's a goal and there's nothing you can do you can even put your goalkeeper on the like some of the pros put their goalkeeper on the, the goal line you know like that's been the meta thing for the goalkeepers and your goalkeeper it's like something coded that like just it's a goal it's crazy because that's the regular experience right the guy has the ball here i pass the ball all the way back here I spam R1 from the guy over yeah, here. Yeah, Ryan, I he do. He transitions back here. What do I do? Because it's apparently nerfed, even though it's still super effective. Ball roll into a Trivella on a green. War a goal by me. And then we have the community, right? We see these patch notes of uh, Trivella getting nerfed, and they're like, oh, how are we going to score now? We just love, we love, you know what, you know what people love to do in this game? They love garbage mechanics to compensate for garbage mechanics. Oh, how are we going to beat the park, the bus, and the defensive AI being overpowered? How are we going to beat it now if they nerf the Trivella? In, in part, you are right, 
right? In part, you are correct, but you want a garbage mechanic to deal with a garbage mechanic. Oh my God. See, this is why I don't like making these videos. I get toxic. I get like into it, you know? What else from defending? Is that it? It's just, it's just people counterattacking against you. If you're playing any sort of uh, tactic that is not full meta, because the full meta tactics, they're all trash because it's all park the bus counterattack for the most part, right? Um, if you're not playing any of those sort of tactics, which are the best tactics, but they're the easiest to attack against because it's just, it's just people, it's just people using their attackers to push up against your defenders, right? Push up against defenders. And then they just wait for the 45 degree angle into the Elasco, into, into the Elasco, into the shot. Like it, it's the same thing. There's nothing unique about this. You're not switching from a 4 one 2 and 2 to a 4 4 2 because it makes sense to actually use those individual tactics. You're doing it because you're either noticing that he is doing one pattern of play or he's doing the other pattern of play, which is either the guy runs into the side, track back pass there, right? That's one. Or he does the thing where he just runs all the way to the side and then just driven pass. Even after the patch, it's still effective. You're just using a tactic to defend one thing over the other. Sure, on the attack, it's different, for sure. But the way that you attack is still going to be the same because everybody's team, even if you don't have parked the bus, the back four is lined up here. So you got to do the step over accelerations. You got to do the 1v1 Mortal Kombat stuff. Trash, man. And then the problem is here is that you have to rely on park the bus on defensive ai because switching is horrible the registration to register my command to actually do a tackle is horrible right they want you to manually defend but when i have the angle correct and i manually do it uh, and nothing happens you were like oh i have to press the tackle button more but if you press the tackle button it's a penalty because the guy does a random skill move that's not timed okay even guys sometimes people accidentally press r trigger to accelerate all the time they don't mean to do it but because it's like they, they, they're, they're trying to accelerate right into the side position not they're not trying to do this to jump over your challenge and timing it they're just doing it to accelerate into that area like a normal person if you press the challenge button it's an easy penalty that's why people don't even want to press a challenge button they just want the ai to do it for them whether that's a second man press whether he's coming from narnia and doing the tackle for me which happens all the time or whether it is me holding l trigger and doing this and praying that he does a defensive animation it's one or the other and they have all these play styles that, again that they added to these defenders that if they don't have them they're useless at defending in general so defending is horrible switching is horrible defending is horrible moving left and right to the i don't care if you have jockey plus they still feel like garbage to move because of, mostly because you're inconsistent gameplay let's be honest but you're adding play styles to do basic things so you're telling me i can't jockey if i don't have jockey i have to use full meta you have evolution evolutions is cool when you go into the full meta areas but these evolutions that they're releasing for you guys to unlock uh to upgrade cards that i'm sorry i never see in the meta of the gameplay unless they're full meta cards like malin um you know some of these like glitched evos that people did that has like five play styles on it this hey, you, don't, you don't know Damn. you don't know who this japanese dude is from the center back that plays for i think he plays for stuttgart maybe some some of you guys do know right you don't know who that guy is but you're gonna use him because he's meta nobody ever watches this guy play but you have to use him because he's gonna let you do the basic things when you're playing the game and ai wise he's gonna maybe save you sometimes <laughs> i'm saying this but i don't know exactly what he's like he just has all the place also i'm assuming he's good right but it's the glitch the once i watched pretty sure it's a japanese guy from stuttgart or something i don't know right but that's the thing <laughs> the thing is talked. so it's not even skill based to defend it's not skill based Catching to strays, attack bro. okay the attacking is the same patterns of play all the time i don't want to hear anybody tell me differently because every single time i play this game it drains me to have to defend and attack because you cannot do authentic build up play because of that defensive line and because of direct passing okay and even if you don't have direct passing all you're doing is waiting for the track back track back track back track back because of that defensive line you literally see korea in this clip spamming it he's spamming the track back pushing forward coming back where's my notes what, what, what else do i have to talk about styles defending oh my god defending Look how long the video is just to talk about defending two, right? and how stupid it is in this game. We move into dribbling. Oh my, dribbling? Dribbling? Bro, if you don't have players that have like 99 stats, and I have to say this because of inconsistent gameplay, because it's mainly because of inconsistent gameplay, right? But if I don't have players that have 99 stats, why are you so reluctant at making your players responsive on the left stick? You know why you're reluctant? Because your solution to manual defending being horrible is your manual dribbling to be horrible too. The how many of you guys played FIFA 22? Probably most people, right? Do you guys remember when we went on the first day of FIFA 23 and everyone was like, what did EA do to dribbling? Do you guys remember that? Like the first game you played on FIFA 23 and you were like, what the f happened to my dribbling, bro? Like, I actually think they have it. And then when we went on to this game, it was even worse than FIFA 23. I guarantee you guys, we'll do it. Maybe this week, maybe next week. 
we'll do a retro or something. I don't even know. Is 22 up? Maybe 23 is just up. But, bro, it is crazy, man. It is crazy what EA does to, as he says, hotfix stuff. Right? The defending is so out of out of line now, right? Okay, let's make the dribbling worse. Like, EA, it's so true what he says, because instead of EA actually improving stuff, they just make other things worse to, like, or they add pointless features. Oh, it's so frustrating. But, like, literally everyone in the chat, you guys all remember it, bro. In 22, the way you could just dribble without doing any skill moves, it's just crazy, bro. It's crazy, you know? And now we have this technical plus, right? And now once you use this technical plus with, like, best... Here's the thing I don't like about R1, all right? This is just me personally, right? The left stick dribbling in this game, bro, should just be the R1. Instead, EA made some mechanic where the players run like they got a stick up their ass, and they run slower with this R1, but as he said, the, every defender next to somebody doing R1 is looking in the sky like this guy is doing magic or, like, some crazy shit. The, I'm telling you, when you use R1, watch your player, they're actually running slower. The, the defenders just get stupid, bro. Instead of just making dribbling good, bro. Instead of making acceleration or speed good, these other mechanics, like, oh, never understand these guys. All right, we have to keep watching. Sorry. The way that you want people to dribble is just to do this the whole entire game. You just want people to do this. Hold <laughs> R1 and just use technical dribbling the entire time. <laughs> wow. Wara dribbling by you guys. Oh, <laughs> we can't just do simple left stick touches anymore. No, guys. No. No, no, we have to add a lot of emphasis to them now. Because now, we have to add mechanics where there's R1 dribbling, right? Where there's R1. Oh, no, 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 we gotta, we gotta do L1 dribbling now, right? We gotta do the L1 now, right? Okay. Oh, no, 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 wait, wait, we gotta do the L2R1 dribbling as well, right? Look at the L2R1, little close, bang, little sharp. Why do you guys add all... Guys, I don't mind you adding stuff, but you add stuff when they're not even polished from before! You're just adding more things to do more animations! Guys, more animation is not an issue. The issue is that this game feels like garbage most times you play. It's slow and sluggish. So when you add animations on slow and sluggish gameplay, you can't play the game properly, man. You know how many times I touch the ball and he just does like, a huge emphasis touch every time? You can't move? Oh, guys. The dribbling, like, like why is, like, the simple stuff doing in football, EA, the simple stuff is what makes you skilled. Seeing the pitch a certain way, seeing patterns of play open up before they're even opened up, that's what the skill should be in the game. But no, you create a game that's based off of how is it going to be super easy for people to get into our game, be headless chickens, and just do the same thing over and over again and think that they're skilled. Oh, you know that I'm going to attack this way, but you can't switch properly unless you have Park the Bus. But even if you have Park the Bus tactics, your switching is still horrible. Inception shows a clip from FIFA 22 or FIFA 20 offline experience old gen version where your switching is perfectly fine, but he never got that online where even Kurt was freaking out when he was playing the online. Attacking we've already brushed up on, right? All this, all this stuff, guys, I don't like this. I don't like FIFA mechanic stuff, okay? I don't like this. I don't like the FIFA mechanic stuff. I like basic stuff. Okay, I like when someone does something because it feels authentic in the moment. Don't tell me that you're spamming stepovers because it's realistic because you're just using an excuse to be a rat, which I'm not surprised because you gotta be a rat to play this game, right? Your name are is step over. Whoa, step over acceleration. Whoa, step over. And then we have these like these things that still exist in this game that are just like they're just stupid. If you skill move cancel against me and my defenders are nowhere near me, yo, you should do the most like emphasized skill move I'll ever. If you if there's no one near you, it should be the most it should be emphasized times 100 to just do a step over, to just do a step over. <sighs> To do a step over and accelerate against nobody, right? And then people do the same thing where there's nobody next to them, but they do this just to be able to dribble quickly. Dribbling is so bad that you have to use skill moves to dribble. We still have these FIFA mechanics in this game. Ball roll scoop. We add a new skill move. Heel to heel with the L1, right? The heel to heel this. Ooh. Guys, this, this is all FIFA stuff that they add. This is stuff that they add that you think is cool. Like, oh, I love that they added this new thing. No, they add new things because they just need to act like their game is different. That's why they add technical and make everybody good at it, even if they don't have the play style. If they have it, it's even worse. I'm using technical against the defenders. Yeah, good luck chasing, bro. Good luck, bro. The shirt's being pulled against you, man. Good luck to you, brother. Boring. Okay, boring. I get to this position here, guys. Oh, hey, just AI. Where's the AI at, guys? Where's the AI at? So you get to this position, what's your only solution? All right, guys, L1, Elastico, go back, Elastico, shot cancel. Uh, guys, call me, call me Sub-Zero, man. I'm Sub-Zero here.
because his midfielders are not going inside the 18-yard box. Call me Sub-Zero, guys. I'm, I'm in Mortal Kombat. Passing. Oh, the passing. If you don't have certain playstyle pluses, their passing is... Forget about it, bro. Terrible. Forget about it with the passing. It's so bad if you don't have it. There's one thing with the passing that I want to talk about the most. I don't even like. I don't even want to. I don't want to necessarily talk about through balls or not being able to make certain like certain passes simply because they don't have certain play styles. Because the play styles again, a way to manipulate you guys when you guys play this game. The passing. The one thing that irritates me the most, man, is the direction. The direction of the passes. Do you guys know how many times I will aim my thumbstick super well in a certain direction? And it still aims in a, I'll aim it here, but he'll pass it there. I'll aim it there, but he'll pass it there. I'll do a through ball where I hold the button the entire way and it still passes the guy closest to me. I'll hold a driven pass where I'll hold it the whole entire way and it still passes the guy right next to me. But the, the one that irritates me the most is the direction on your left stick when you're aiming at certain people to pass the ball. I'll aim it there and he'll pass it to Neymar instead. I'll aim it here and he'll pass it to the guy. I'll aim it to the right side and he'll pass it to the other guy instead over here. Now I'm like, and, and all I'm doing when I'm playing the game, especially because of inconsistent gameplay, all I'm doing is compensating for what I don't want to do for what the game is forcing me to do. Because over here, everything's fast. You know, sharp, sharp touch L1, you know, skill move L1 again into the, you know, into the old little skill move there. Everything is more responsive here, right? But if you get into the online, oh my God, guys, please stop telling me Inception, your game looks so much smoother. The Elgato makes the game look smoother, guys. If you guys watch content creators, they are not playing in smooth gameplay. All they are doing is compensating for the gameplay being bad. But with inconsistent gameplay being said, we all deal with a game where there is a high chance that your opponents could have worse gameplay than you or better the gameplay than you. And you know why I'm going to say this? Because when I play on the PC, and it's not perfect on the PC, but when I play on the PC, guys, I often, more often than not, get better gameplay to play on than I do on the console. A lot of times if I'm playing at like 10 o'clock in the morning, usually on console, guys, every single day it's chalked. But on PC, for some reason, I can move. Guys, crossplay exists. If I'm facing a guy on console and my gameplay feels good and I know and I can see that he's playing on console... How do I know that my gameplay is not better than his? Right? But I can't even consistently say that the PC gameplay is better because guys, on Sunday, when I was doing the reviews for, I don't even know who I was doing the reviews for on Sunday. Oh my goodness, the gameplay on PC was completely unplayable. And you know what I thought to myself? I'm like, if it feels like this on the PC, I can only imagine what it feels like on the console. And I don't remember what review it was that day on the Sunday or the Monday. I can't remember what day it was I was playing Foot Champs. And I'm like, oh my goodness, it's even worse on the console. It's horrible on the PC, but on the console, like, let me just, let me, I need to, I feel disgusting holding my control. I need to put it down. I need to, please get away from me. I need to put like a box. I need to surround you. And I need to put you in a quarantine because this is infectious right now. I can't even touch my controller right now. Someone activates a pressure tactic. It still breaks your attacking AI, guys. To this day, it still breaks your attacking AI because it's EA's hot fix for people wasting time. Because your team, even if you don't use park the bus tactics, at some point in the game, lines up in a park the bus way. So you need a tactic in your team that is some sort of like 4-4-2 or something so that your left mid and your right Dude, mid are blocking look at the, the attacker by uh, Neymar. To, uh, to try to wait movement. for that transition Bro, because, okay. because the attacking AI is so, <laughs> Back and forth. so unbelievably bad. Way look worse Mbappe, than the old-gen version, guys. Way worse. Go watch FIFA 14 and 13 attacking AI. Much better than it is in this game, man. Much better. Like I said, bro, I, I I remember the days of just talking about inconsistent gameplay. I know FIFA what he 15, means, though. Like, there's no diagonal there. runs. There's no If you gave me the, the best runs, version dude, of ever, FIFA man. 15 gameplay and they nerfed finesse shots, that's the best FIFA game I ever played. But I can't say that. I can't say that with my whole chest. I can't say that with my whole heart because we have inconsistent gameplay every year. So every football game sucks for me, eh? Every single one. It doesn't matter what it is. I can beat you 5-0. Guys, I, when people send me messages like, oh, you do this. Why are we sending messages in a game that's irrelevant? If you play the game and you play it normally, knowing that it's a garbage game, I have more respect for you. Because guys, I tell you guys this all the time, I don't care what I beat you, I, the, I'm, I'm not beating you. I'm not beating you. I'm just doing a review to call it a day. I'm not beating you. This is not like, you know, me playing certain video games and it's a 1v1 and I'm beating you. No, it's not I'm beating you. In this game, it's not, bro. It's trash. Okay? The shooting. Broski. Oh, we'll we'll we still go. get into the attacking, right? Let's talk about the shooting, guys. Bro, who added... Who... EA. When I used to do gameplay rants videos last year, the one mechanic I gave you guys credit for was the finishing. You know, you even had, like, driven shots where, like, 
okay, you play against that defensive line, but if you got that angle against them, Shooting which is still stupid, so it's a 45 degree angle every single time, right? And it's still, it's still AI doing it for you. It's not skill-based, right? But anyways, the driven shots, they were cool, right? The, the finishing was all good. You even got me to a point where the times finishing in your game, you got me to a point where I accept it now. And this is, like I said, back in the day, I, was, I didn't accept it at all, right? But the times finishing, you got me to a point where I accepted it. And then you guys just made the finishing complete trash again. I get into high percentage strike angles with a player that has 99 finishing and you will miss the easiest opportunity because I don't green time? But even if I green time, right, when I attack, and guys, I, this is, I, I cannot view this as an opinion, okay? When I attack, I have to look at my player, I have to look at my player's animation to shoot, but I also have to look at my peripherals or be cross-eyed to see if the person uses manual goalkeeping. Yeah. Manual goalkeeping, when I'm inside over here, turn it off. Manual goalkeeping is a trash mechanic, guys. I have this argument with people all the time. People are like, oh, I disagree. Manual, manual goalkeeping. I think this it would be fine no, if they the kept it outside box, the no, box. But... No, I don't want to have this conversation anymore. There are, there, us being so divided on these things is what makes this game trash, by the way. So it really is because we, we keep these trash mechanics in the game because you're used to a trash mechanic being in the game to bail you out. I can't even say from your poor defending because the AI on the attack is doing everything for the person to just wait for that track back all the time. I can't even say it's skill-based. I, I can't even say it's good defending because everybody's parking the bus and relying on the defensive AI. I try my best to not use those tactics. You guys can see from my gameplay that most of my teams are not set up defensively. They only set up defensively at a certain point. Keywords, at a certain point because the game by default parks the bus for your team so when someone is just doing this the entire time guys i i, whew, I faced a guy for a review the other day i was uh it was during the team of the year why i I, I'm, I promise you every single I, I i bet my my family's life on it for 44 minutes of the first half he just did this the whole time bro he would touch the ball he would get here guys he never went to the middle never for 44 minutes in game, he just did this and just switched the play the whole time. And if I don't have a 4-4-2 tactic to deal with that, excuse me, even if I have a 4-4-2 tactic to deal with it, this is more effective than having any sort of attacking AI in the middle of the park. Guys, it has been improved after the patch, but the attacking AI is still trash. If you face one person that researches any sort of pressure tactic, your attacking AI becomes void. I will leave the game. I swear on everything in my life, I will leave the game because it voids my attacking AI. Pointless to play. You think I'm going to use this? I can't even do it because I, because I don't even have it uh, turned on. The player lock. Your player lock system. You know why you added player lock? Because you know your attacking AI is trash in the new gen version of the game. You know it's garbage. You know it's garbage. And you know that people just use part of the... They use the... the they use... The player lock system to only go for trackbacks, to only go for the same attacking plays all the time. You know that that's what you're doing. I hope I don't forget stuff, guys, because I'm all over the place with this rant, okay? The attacking trash, the defending trash, manual goalkeeping inside the 18-yard box trash. If someone goes, does a good attacking play against you, in an ideal world, we're talking in a world that's ideal, in a world where defending is actually good, where switching is good, where you actually get rewarded for manually challenging properly, even if you haven't anticipate plus, which... I've played with cards many times. I've played with a Thunderstruck Varan in the Elite Division, and he even sometimes doesn't get possession-based challenges. If we lived in a perfect world where your defending had any sort of logic, and someone green times a strike because they're focused on where the defender is and where their attacker is, guys, like, I did a tweet. I didn't even look at the replies to this because I, I couldn't even be asked. Or can, it's not can't be asked. I, could, I CBA. Couldn't, couldn't be arsed, okay? To even, like, deal with the potential replies to this, right? But I literally tweeted about the, the 1v1 manual goalkeeping. Guys, I don't care what pro players say. I don't, I, don't, I don't care. I don't care. In this game, to watch professionally, I don't care. If you are a pro player in this game, please, for your own sake, do it to be a content creator. Don't do it because you actually view this game in a pro way. Please, please do not, do not tell me that you view it in a pro way because it's garbage. Let me go here. Let me see if I see this tweet here. Um... <clears throat> this was the pro event. I didn't watch the pro event. I swear on my family's life I don't watch pro event because I, I, I would never, okay? But uh, look at this, guys. Guys, do you think that this makes... this? Do, like, do, please, do, please tell me when you guys are looking at this. Tell me this is not a FIFA mechanic. Tell me this is not... Please tell me the realism ricks are not coming for me right now and looking at this and thinking that this is a logical thing. I don't even know why I have this conversation with people. I don't even know. I, I, to me, it's mind-blowing. To be able... To have 
this defensive line that constantly tracks back quicker than if you were to manually use them with a cursor on their head. They track back faster than when you manually use them. And the person gets that because this, this attacking opportunity is a track back opportunity. The defenders, they tracked back. The attackers went forward. He had the space to open with the attack. But because the defense is always on this constant line over here, you're telling me that it's cool to manually goalkeep like an idiot and then to have your other defender block that area as well? Guys, this has 2.5 likes from people saying, eh, eh, I like goalkeeper movement in the game. It helps remove guaranteed go uh, scoring angles and some manual control. We have 2.5 likes on this. I don't even, I, I, this is why I give up. When I do the rants videos, I give up. I, I can't even like, I can't even fathom a mechanic like this in the game. You're seeing this with your own eyes. You're seeing him going into the net over here. You know that the defensive line is always on this line. But, but you, Guys, they can maybe get to manual goalkeeping to a point where it's acceptable again for me. They could, maybe, potentially, because they did it for time finishing on me. Because time finishing, I used, to, I used to be very against it because if you didn't do time finishing for... Well, they screwed it up because last year it was fine, and then this year they messed it up again with the time finishing, right? Or the or the finishing in general because it's, because whoever... You see how his Mbappe is actually doing a, a power strike here from a regular strike? You see how he's doing that? I want to know which dev... I want to know which dev does the side-footed animation from a power strike. I want to know who added that because oh. you're an idiot. Oh my God. Whoever added that mechanic for a power strike, you are an idiot. If someone is holding R1 and then they do that animation to shoot it across, okay, it makes sense to do a side-footed animation because that's expected. That's an expected mechanic. But that never happened. The way you side-footed from a power strike, okay? So bad. Or you're telling me we can look at this and the guy can do two different things at once. He tell, you're telling me he creates this attacking play and, and you, can, you, 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 you see this and you're like, yeah, sure. No, man. <clears throat> Manual goalkeeping from other things is fine because it's so hard to not make corners random, to not make free kicks random. Because uh, the goals that are scored in FIFA, they are of no value. That might and be the first thing I noticed about this game, goal, though, bro. That weird, like, shooting animation. I was like, what the hell is this? the win so badly because of their addiction. Bro, to how, much, how much we have left? Oh, my God. 40 minutes left. I don't know if I'm going to make it, bro. I'm sounding like Romeo and Juliet. Like, put me in a play, guys, honestly. 40 minutes. I, I can't see stuff like this, man. Like, stuff like this. Uh, if I'm playing oh the game, I'm dealing God. with it, whatever. Can they get me to a point of manual goalkeeping where it could be acceptable at some point? Maybe, right? Let's say, for instance, I don't have to deal with this defensive line, right? And if the person is manual, manually goal goalkeeping and he has a certain time frame, that he has to do it earlier from the shot that I'm taking, right? He has to do it earlier. Not in the moment, but he has to do it earlier. And he has to commit to a direction for two seconds in game, but I can still hit the other direction. Keywords, when I'm inside the 18 yard box, then fine, you can get me to a point where it's acceptable. Because if I still hit that area, after all that, I might be an idiot. But I can't even say that, because if I if I white time your strike, and he uses manual goalkeeping to the right, and he has it, let's say the defender's not even to the left, and I do a white time shot from a power strike, guys, you know how many times you can miss this opportunity? Have you guys played this game? You can miss this opportunity from a, from a regular strike without green timing it. You can miss this, guys. Oh, I, I, I did, I, I'm reading the comments. Oh, it could be frustrating. It's... <laughs> Attacking's trash. Passing uh, accuracy is trash. If your players don't have basic play styles, they're horrible at doing it. You need full meta. Just, you need players that have a billion play styles to do simple things, right? You guys, we haven't even gotten to the to the content and the glitches. There's so many, there's so many glitches. Like, I, if, like, I, I don't even know, I don't even know where to begin with the glitches, guys. If I go to my, if I go to my Discord, and I go to the EA mess ups. Rodri, Rodri's on the card. Um, Trincao is not Trincao. It's it's Braganza. Uh, Braganza is on it. Um, Richardson is not Moroccan. He's French. Uh, what else did we have here? We had um, we had Nep showing a, a picture the other day of old FIFA cards in 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 this game. Might I as well be that. old FIFA cards because you still rock the same base coding that makes your inconsistent gameplay. So I'm not surprised you have this in your in your coding of your game of your horrible pre-alpha uh not ready for 10 years game right you got tella going to a gold because of a mistake right you have guenduzi still playing uh, league one lazio league one lazio you have this that happens the menu guys i bought the game on pc you know how oh. annoying it is to, to buy the game on pc and to have to alt tab and to restart yeah, the game I on bet. console it's whatever close the game open it it's not whatever because it's still annoying that it happens on pc when i when i'm pressing x and it's literally not registering for me to press x to keep going i have to literally alt tab close the game reopen the game and you never save my audio settings so whatever my audio setting is i always have to reset the audio settings your borderless window apparently the frames are better than the full screen but then sometimes the full screen is better than the borderless window because it's poorly optimized on pc 
What about the glitches? Oh, the glitches. Oh, we get to the glitches. Okay, Rodri. Yes, I see Rodri on the real bit. It's Rodri, yeah. Uh, Daniel Braganza on King Pound's card, right? Yeah, same guy. Same guy. They're the same person, guys. Um, you know, it's a Moroccan player, turned into a French player, had to take out the SBC. Nep has a, a tweet where the the FIFA 17 cards are in the game. They might as well, they might as well be in the game. They might as well, because you obviously still use that base coding in your game since we have inconsistent gameplay every year anyways. So of course these guys are gonna show up in the squad battles. Of course. No no, no shadow of a doubt there. We have Della. The Tella situation where people had his evolution and it turned him into a 98 or whatever, right? It turned into a gold card. Guendouzi, uh, League One, Lazio, glitches. Uh, what? Like, oh, the PC glitches are so annoying because it's just to have to alt tab and to restart the game. Man, I, what the oh, heck man. is that one? Look at this Tella card, bro. Just, you know? 98. Just say, cool beans, man. This guy, look, he's working on the Japanese player. You see, he saw, he saw the glitch <laughs> evolution thing. He's like, we're good to go, man. Oh, the messy situation. Oh, man, this one was the messy situation. Wow. Guys, hey, yeah. <laughs> You you guys that are watching this rant video, I got messy, guys. Is this is this a, is this a account that I don't even use anymore? That's like to do this RTG, like, oh, god, this video this video could be three hours long. There's just so much. There's so much. I, there, it could be three, four, five. I can I can make three movies out of this game. Guys, look at the team, man. Look at the team. I got the messy card. You thought I wasn't gonna do a rant video just because I got this card, guys? After that RTG episode, I like that's it. I didn't play anymore. Look, foot champs. I think there was a season reset, but even still, Foot Champs 10, Rivals, I think it's the season reset, right? Four? I think so. Uh, five now, right? Like, you think it's going to change what I say about the game? Guys, they give me Team of the Year Messi, the game's still going to feel like garbage to play. I have to pray. I'll be like, oh. I although, although, well, those cards this year, I've never seen anything like it, you know? Like... You even go back four years ago, bro. Sometimes you would face those gold teams. Like, people with gold teams now, at this time, have no chance. No chance. Unless unless you're, like, actually a 9-win player and they're, like, an 18-win player. Um, Man, the cards this year are another level. Hopefully I get the best version of gameplay at nighttime. But even if I do, I have to face people doing the same things over and over again. Which is just going to drain me like crazy. Guys, that's why, like, listen, that's why transfer market reviews have not been done as much this year. <laughs> Inception is my boy. Like, I love this guy. But he was saying he doesn't use full meta. Like, here's the thing, right? Because people were saying, like, oh, when he was, uh, when he was saying, talking to me about player lock. Like, I have to do player lock, right? Because the attacking AI doesn't work. Is it an idiotic feature? Bro. Right? We talk about this all the time. There's certain things I have to do in this game. It's like that goal he scored with the L1, right? That's what I mean. Like, I can't blame anyone, but look at the defense. You have because to use those players, I you know what I mean? Like, you literally have content, to. Right? I still do a lot of the YouTube stuff, but it's training. You know, and don't get me wrong, it's a video game. At the end of the day, I'm very grateful. I am. I, like, you do I, you don't, have to don't compensate. Defensively, you have to. I will continue to do the content because I'm in a very great position in life, 100%. But it doesn't change the fact that this game sucks, guys. It doesn't change that fact. You know, shout out to the content team for, for, for providing me with the content because if it wasn't for the content, I, I you know I wouldn't be in this position. But the gameplay team, you're, you don't do me favors. You guys, you guys don't know how to make a like. You don't know. You don't know what you're doing. Oh my! Imagine having shooting at least, and then you take out the shooting, you change it. Why? The one thing we talk, especially guys, if it's coming from me because I roast them every single year, right? <laughs> if I'm telling them the finishing is fine, imagine changing it. Look at that, look at this message bro, for the messy thing, man. In that time frame, an estimated 0.7% of Ultimate Team players obtained some of the year Messi. We understand this has caused frustration with the Ultimate Team community, and we apologize and appreciate, uh, appreciate your patience. No, EA, like, this is full of garbage, man. You're telling me that you you don't run a simulator for your SBC? You do it, like, 15 times, you don't, and you can't see that you're, you're giving people Messi on a consistent basis? But, guys, I can't even be fully upset at this, because, guys, uh, can, I, can, I, can I be truthfully honest with you? And it's not because I have Messi. I couldn't care less about having the card in this account, because I, I haven't continued the RTG since I got that card, right? Listen to what I'm going to tell you guys, okay? This game and the way that you build a team is luck based. It's luck based, or you just you just you you treat it like it's a stock market, and you buy players for you know fodder that's like really really cheap, and then you wait for them to go really really high, and then you sell them, and then you do the same thing again, and then at some point, I mean two or three months later, you afford this like really expensive team that you can basically keep for the whole game, and then just go from there. You could do that 100%. But if you play the game, all of your squad building is luck based, or you unlock specific SBC cards. That are meta cards. That's why everybody has Bruno, Sawa, Ezebu, Mbappe, Van Dyke. It's all the same teams, guys. Because 
people don't want to get demoralized from buying a card for a mil 1.5 million coins yeah, and then the, three days later he's a million coins and you just lost the market situation is horrible everyone the worst it's ever been at some point in this game of first owner team because nobody would ever dare using their coins to go and actually buy a player off the market and then just lose a, a ton of coins from doing that no one would dare because it's demoralizing it's brutal we have a meme over here we call it the l2 guy okay the L2 guy is the one responsible for making this really cool mechanic. Oh, I want to go to SBCs right away? Fantastic, I can go to SBCs right away. Whoever did this, we call him the L2 guy, right? The L2 guy is also the guy responsible, right? I don't think they're in the game anymore, but he's also responsible for adding upgrades in the game so that if you get high-rated fodder, you can trade that high-rated fodder, uh, fodder for, for other cards. Whoever added that is an absolute G, but we don't keep that in the game forever, though, guys. This game, guys, listen to what I'm going to tell you, okay? It has turned into an SBC pack opening game. It's almost like you, you grab the game on mobile, you download it, you don't play the yeah. gameplay. It's just about you collecting the cards and you opening the packs. That, that's what this game has turned into and that's what they want because the way that they have formatted these game modes, which is one of the most horrible balanced game modes in the world, I, I cannot SBC even understand. Game. I think it's why just why like would I, as a regular person, care about game playing more than when I don't have a mode year, to bro. use different cards in? Why would I care? Why would I care? What people do right now is what I warned you guys when these game modes first came out, okay? When they first came out. I warned you that people will get to a point where they will play rivals. They will do the self-accomplishment thing. Well, maybe, maybe they try to hit the elite division, but they'll only do it one time for the year and they will never do it again. They'll just let themselves get relegated, relegated, relegated. They'll go into friendlies and with the chance of their you being skill-based matchmaking, they're going to do their, their, their objectives and friendlies and that ruins it for the regular person who's an actual division six person because he's facing elite players in division six. It's all messed up. All of it. The modes are messed up. The... the you guys, I hate foot champs with passion. You guys know I've never I've told you guys every single year I hate foot champs. I hate any sort of mode in a video game that is quantity amount for a 1v1 because it just adds stress and it adds addiction for the person, okay? Oh, I need to I need to get 20 or no to get these rewards. I need to get <laughs> this mode trash. Ever since it was added, I hate it. But guys, it's the best mode we have now. This is the mode I use for my reviews. I don't actually care about consistently getting the win or consistently using the most meta formation because some people that play this game are complete rats. I've literally faced people, guys, that I'm not this mode we have now. I, because it just adds stress and it adds addiction for the person, okay? Oh, I need to, I need to get 20 and 0 to get these rewards. I need to get the... this mode trash. Ever since it was added, I hate it. But, guys, it's the best mode we have now. This is the mode I use for my reviews. I don't actually care about consistently getting the win or consistently using the most meta formation because some people that play this game are complete rats. I've literally faced people, guys, that I'm not kidding, that have switched the play the entire time, okay? Soccer drills. Okay. I've literally faced, guys, uh, 44 minutes in game. I'm not kidding. The guy literally did this the whole entire game when I was doing a review in the Elite Division. He did this the entire game, guys. He did this the whole time, bro. For 44 minutes in game. I was doing the review on PC, and I was freaking out. I'm like, what's wrong with you guys? My team name is Stop Switching. Are you guys okay in the head? Are you sick? <laughs> For like you have Duenza months. in your head, bro? It's crazy what people do. 44 minutes of the first half just doing this, guys. Yeah. One or two, like it's because I was right, doing a review, right? So I didn't have like, a four, guys, like even if I didn't have a four four two, there's no there's no cool movement here. So people just do this the whole game, bro. Just waiting for that one attack in the middle. Guys, the old gen already had its problems, but at least it was getting to a point. If we're looking at it from a base mechanic, because it doesn't matter, inconsistent gameplay exists there too, so it's still trash, right? But if we're looking from base mechanics, it's still a better game than the new gen. Don't bring realism to this discussion because this is trash. Yeah. There's so much things that I could talk about. Like I said, I, this video could be made into a long one. Like, look, I have glitches. The glitches we've talked about. Uh, content, I mean, uh, content's like, uh, long story short, with content, like, they've, they've reached a point in this game, if, if cards are not at least close to, like, like really good meta, very relevant. I don't, I don't know who I EA released this card today. I, I don't know who released oh this. Oh my I, god. I don't know. Chat, this is what I'm wondering, though. This is what I'm wondering. Let me just, let me just ask you this, chat. I, I personally don't feel like any attacking cards this year have any uniqueness, except if it's Mbappe or, like, an icon. I think it's insanely idiotic to put 70 attack positioning but let me ask you this chat do you even feel like this year that stat matters even as is when he was showing the training ground all mbappe did was go like this that's all he did like do you even feel like that really even matters that much because this is what i saw yesterday i'm like ea are releasing a car with 70 attack positioning in almost march what are they doing right but at the end of the day, do you guys even, you think it is the most important stat. But I'm like, my team, I have Eusebio. The only guy I have in my team that makes like literally incredible runs is Zico. That's it. He's the only dude in my team that just makes the most absurd runs. And it's probably because he's at center mid. He's not really marked. And he's able to really just get in behind the defense and make the proper run. I don't know, dude, but icon right and then you have Halland as well sorry Halland as well because he has like the custom features 
and what he was saying with play styles and 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 all that it's, it's, for me it's all really down to that does the player have a Usually the players with the best attacking AI are the ones that have like the specific body type because EA have gone through and like coded the player specifically. You know what I mean? Vieira for you, Eusebio. But I'm like, this is such a waste of time, you know? Like, where are EA? Where are they, dude? Because when I played this game, all I faced, Eusebio, most times Mbappe, best, right? A crazy Evo. Dude, EA need to be self-aware, bro. They have not created a game or a game mode if Foot Champs qualifiers was repeatable. That is fun to play, okay? So what part about this SBC release yesterday not only, one, makes sense, or is it fun? Like, tell me, please. Like, where does this card fit into anyone's team in this game? And where is this card fun to use in a fun game mode, right? What is the point? And that's what I'm saying with the content team. There's such a hit and miss sometimes, right? Who's really, like, why is Baggio 550k with 81 agility and 82 balance? It's just, it's the most EA thing ever, bro. They fixed the shot power. His base card released five, how many months ago? Five months ago? Has 80 agility and 81 balance. They give him a plus one. Cannavaro, they give acrobatic plus. I tried Cannavaro yesterday. I tell you this right now. If they gave him Anticipate Plus or Block Plus, he might actually be a top 10 center back in this game. Top 5. I used him yesterday. His manual defending is unreal. I still think he's unreal. But what a waste. What a waste. What is that even good for? Like corners? Like glitching? I don't even know. What a waste. Like, that's where I'm like with this content team. Here's my opinion. The content team has some crazy victories. They're also f***ing assholes, bro. They didn't release an 80 plus player pick with the worst team of the year weight we've ever had during the entire team of the year promo. Now they released an 80 plus player pick that didn't even expire on a Friday with future stars cards that no one gives a shit about. And now they're going to release an 81 plus today. Really nice, you assholes, because they know exactly what they're doing. Now, this is where I'm like, do the, do the content team even play the game? Because they clearly don't. They're looking in the office like, hey, we're going to release this card today. Let's just, let's try Acrobatic Plus on Cannavaro, right? Like... That's how I see it. They don't even know what is good for these players, bro. But in order for EA to release cards that people are going to drop, Maldini, BVD, Cafu, Sawa, Bruno, Basha, Havertz, Davies, Eusebio, Best, right? That's the point. It doesn't matter who I missed, right? They need to offer, like... Here's the deal. This Sule card, right? He's not going to be as good as, like, Bester Eusebio. So what EA has to do in order to compensate, they can't release one playstyle plus, right, with these stats. There's no, there's no, like, decision, man. Like, I remember EA used to release, you know, like, even during full birthday, right? Like, Vidal, Renato Sanchez. There's way less of that thought, right? Because, and, and this is the thing. People say, oh, have fun. There's no fun fun bro there's no fun in this game there's no fun game mode if there was a repeatable foot champs qualifiers i would say by all means bro if you could play that shit 10 times a week 10 games a session that might be fun but there's not bro you can only play it once so there's the importance on playing it only once that people sweat out the 10 and 0 right for the one-time rewards or sweat out getting quality right if that was repeatable, I would change my opinion entirely on the SBC releases. I would have a different perspective. There's no point of these cards, bro. And then there's morons like me who do some of these cards, right? Some of these objectives. Hold on to them all year, bro. All freaking year. I've held on to cards from October that I haven't even been able to Evo because I'm making up in my mind that I'm going to be able to Evo them and make them good. And then by the time they actually get released as an Evo potential, bro, there's no chance for them, bro. There's not even a comparison. I'll give you a prime example. I got Konate as an 84 center back. I want to say in like October, November. He was really good, right? After a week or two, he fell behind the power curve. There was like three other center backs that got released, right? I stopped using him. I've been able to upgrade him twice, probably over the last month or month and a half. And I haven't done it because it's been too late. It's been too late. When you release such a god tier card like VVD for such an accessible price at the start of the game, the content team needs to wake the f up, bro, and release competing cards. Because a reason this game is boring is because every day there's not a new casino. No one gives a f 
because the player is not worth it. People have to justify it like crazy for it to be worth it, bro. Most days, I, like if we wanted to be actually objective about what has been worth it as an SBC, I'm going to tell you right now, let's go look on flipping right now. Let's go look at the last time there was an SBC player that was genuinely worth it. Look, I think Canavaro is good. Let's be objective. Let's be objective. Seriously, let's be objective. Let's look back. B Baggio, right? No. Hemp, absolutely not. Jota, absolutely not. Sule, absolutely not. Rykard, potentially. Potentially. But let's just be purely objective with going on the market to buy VVD versus Rykard. And for the sake of it, let's say no. Let's say no. Just for the sake of it, bro. Okay? Let's just say no. With that in mind, I think he's really good. I really like him. Let's be let's just be objective, right? Richarlison. No, dude. No, no, maybe. Pina, I would say actually. So how many players is that? Potentially. I would say Pina. The argument is there. You get two playstyle pluses. Well, she's got five star weak foot. I think she's pretty good. She doesn't really, for my team personally, and for a lot of people that enjoy team of the year, is she better than best? Is she better than Eusebio? Is she better than Zico? And I'm not asking for somebody to be necessarily better. The reason I'm pointing out Pina, you actually maybe have to ask the conversation, right? The problem is you don't really ask that until this SBC. Vlahovic. <sighs> Tevez. Look, look, bro, chat, be real. Even if you disagree with my analysis of the last 14 players, what a f waste, man. What a waste. What is the point of all these player of the months, dude? Look at this, man. 81% down vote. 83% down vote. 70. Why are they even wasting time? What? They're all f man. All of these cards. S like, Sawa is probably the last card I will go back to. I I'm serious. I'm serious. Like, it's bad, though. You know? And then, like, this is where I don't understand. Hear me out on this, chat. Just listen to me, okay? Trez, Roy Keane, Suker, Wright, Bobby Moore. <laughs> Bro, no one uses Bobby Moore because he's too slow. Hi, I'm EA Sports. Let's release Bobby Moore with 74 f pace. You f idiots, man. Alright? English fans love this guy. And he's f on FIFA. I don't want to hear from the chat about 99 dribbling. He's got 74 f pace, bro. No one's using this card over VVD that they got on the first day of the game. What happened to player SBCs, man, making you f think about something? I don't f think. I go to the player cards. I don't even give you a 30-second check anymore because you know what, chat? I know the card is not going to make my team. You know what's f crazy? The absolute nerve from EA because some people have twice as good of a team as I have. Twice. It's a joke. I don't even want to hear the argument for casuals because these cards, bro, it's just a waste. Listen to this right now, right? Trez. Roy Keane, Suker, Hernandez, Del Piero, Bobby Moore, Ian Wright. I want to I want to tell you guys about these seven cards. When was the last time someone used the base card of this card? Not somebody because there is somebody. A majority of people were using these cards. The last actual time and it wasn't a footies card, right? Or anything like that. Let's be honest, bro. Roy Keane Maybe in FIFA 20, his mid icon. I remember when Kurt used him, I used him. He was really good. Del Piero had a run for a couple of years. A while back, it broke. So what is the point? And especially with EA, this is the mystery I don't understand, right? They know after this week, Team of the Year is going to be dropping. Why, why, why are we being a bitch, bro, with upgrading carts? Why? And I, I, I just don't understand. Like, what was even the point of all of this shit, man? I, D Division 8, don't defend them. Stop it. D like, don't even start to defend those people that say, oh, well, they're cheap and accessible. Bro, they are f They're all All these cards are I don't even want to hear it, chat. You can go on the market and buy 12K gold cards that will perform better than these cards, bro. I don't want to hear this. I, I, the number one thing that drives me crazy, bro, is people, like, see this Sule SBC release, and they're like, or, or, or this Broby card, and they're like, oh, man, like, yeah. This is going to be a sick, cheap SBC because in four f months, I can make him have a four-star, four-star, fix his work rates, and also give him plus 12 to catch up to every single card in the game. They're all just bad, bro. So what is, like, what is the waste of infrastructure, bro?
Like this Sule card. I don't even understand, man. Make this guy 5-5. Five, five. Give him two playstyle pluses. Make everyone in the game who has goddamn George Best, who's insane, think about it. Just make us think about it. We don't even think about it anymore, bro. The only reason I have done Rykard, and he's turned out to be pretty good, I wouldn't have known that unless I did it. The only reason is I had excessive fodder, and there was no other cards in the SBCs currently that were outside of Hullet, who was going to take three mil to get and fodder worthwhile to do so i was just waiting bro waiting 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 until a card was like half decent that i could maybe try out for my team and you have to understand i am saying this bro from a person that as i play this game when i go into the weekend league there are five to ten teams better than mine so i'm just speaking for the entire community and don't you start any of you chat with the people saying oh they're cheap cards for division five players bro it's bullshit man it's actually a load of crap that you even start saying shit like that, bro. When you release a card as OP, as VVD on the first day of the game, and you can go onto the market right now and get VVD. Okay, EA, if you're going to have a f bro and put Acrobatic on Cannavaro and do some dumb shit like that, he better be 100k. What is the point of releasing him for 400k when you know this card will f outperform him? There's no point. That's why a lot of people are looking at it saying, morons, bro. Morons. They're just morons. That's the thing. This content team, like, getting all this praise and bull. The problem with the content team is they have no awareness of market value for players and what's actually meaningful in this game. They're completely, they're obviously, to me, a completely separate division. Until someone in the gameplay team, once in a while, says, hey, Let's release this card with these playstyle pluses because he'll actually be really overpowered. It's a f***ing joke, bro. All right? And I mean it. And it's been too long that no one's really discussing this. Like, people dancing around the fact that we're not going to be over uh, negative every day with SBC releases. This is f garbage, man. All right? I can't even tell you how many years in a row now I have wanted to use Baggio in FIFA. I'm not f joking. I'm not joking. And this is what they released. Bro, this guy for 600,000 coins as an SPC, I'm going to tell you exactly the statistics that he should have had. Over 90 pace, over 90 shooting, 92, 93 passing, 93 dribbling with the agility buff. Okay? No one is considering a 600k attacker with 81 agility in the end of February. Nobody. That's the thing. If you're going to give us nice things, EA... All right? And release players like Best that almost everyone in the Team of the Year promo is going to be able to participate in acquiring. There's You're just wasting. It's just a waste of time, man. So it just pisses me off. If you're going to release an Airy DVZ Player of the Month with this entire chat that probably there's a couple people that have an Airy DVZ card or two as an Evo, but for the majority, no one has in their team, make the card crazy, bro. Why are you being scared? At the end of the day, most people will go back to icons anyways because they have the best AI, they have the most DDA, and they have the iconic feeling. I have complained about for so long EA not releasing enough icons, and I'll give them credit because they've done that this year, but they need to release better cards in these other leagues for people to consider, bro. There's no point. It's just like a coin sink. And you're, you're doing the SBC with dupe fodder, or you're doing it in the false hope that you're going to be able to upgrade the card. And then you're going to lie to yourself in four months. Trying to tell yourself the card is good. When it's not even good. It's terrible. And it's been four months and it should have been released as this upgrade four months ago. Just one more here because I'm going too long here. This Evo that came out yesterday, right? The Future Stars Evo. Alright. There were 17 players available in the Evo. 17. There was like four or five that were actually good. And I was like kind of excited about that. What's the problem bro it's 75k or four dollars bro for a card that should have been released with probably that plus two as is to even ask the question am i interested in this card that's the level of how bad some of these future stars cards are in this promo and how behind they are dude that's what just pisses me off about it it's cool and all i might end up doing one of the evos but that's what the promo should have been future stars used to drop after team of the year and people would say Bro, people in his chat over the years probably remember, we would get after Team of the Year, and Team of the Year sometimes would half in price. I mean, we're talking absolutely half, bro. People would say, F that, I want this Future Stars card, right? 
like what happened to that man you know it's like it's like it's not even like all right we got to keep going here do you guys know who releases oh my god who 30 minutes today, chat i have to take a piss i'm just gonna let it roll. Gonna let me know if i, I miss anything so many so many you, you could have made this card cool you could have you know your basement cat 80 80s for dribbling man the casuals i guess they they use these cards they don't notice anything i guess i don't know like some people will do this oh syria link argentina you know yay because I, I, I don't know i don't i don't know 80s for dribbling the game nowadays guys is trash guys i have i have cards that have mid 90s for dribbling and if they have an average body type most of the time it's chalk but then randomly randomly they drop this to paul card who is an average body type player at 511 but his left stick is good in game Maybe because of the play styles or something? I, 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 I can make this video so long. There's some things that I, I've only brushed up on, like the gameplay game modes being horrible, the balance. This this part you see right here, the 10 qualifying matches, that's the best part of this game because I like facing competent people when I do my reviews, right? Some of them are not like crazy good. Don't get me wrong, right? But I like to have like a somewhat open match where sometimes I'll face someone really good and sometimes I face like a mid-tier player. High, I'm saying really good, high-tier, mid-tier, but the difference between these tiers is how many rap mechanics a person's going to use because you're forced to do it. Guys, if I'm playing this game and I'm doing the content, don't think that I'm not saying that I'm a rat too. Of course I am. If I'm if I'm getting on this game and I'm no and I know what these base mechanics are, I am a rat as well, guys. But it depends on what percentage of rats that you are. Are you 70% rat? Are you 80% rat? That guy that switched that play the entire time is not even at 100%. He's like, you know how there's Pokemon and there's like three different evolutions? No, he's like the seventh evolution of a rat doing that exact play all the time. And you get to the top divisions, it's just people spamming ball roll trivellas, waiting for cutbacks, going for counterattack, park the bus, uh, going for going for the 45 degree angle touch from the cup back into an elastic hold into an l1 elastic hold into a l1 heel to heel into a step over so it's just the same patterns of play that people think they're skilled at doing the same nonsense man celebrating yeah like they're scoring good goals in a trash game and an irrelevant game man when i do reviews when i do the content okay i'm doing the content quickly as quickly as possible because i still gotta give you guys a proper review for whatever the game is right and then i'm because guys, look at look at these transfer market cards. You guys see these guys over here at the top? A Ronaldinho review and a Maldini review for the longevity of this game will do well. They might not do well like right away, but at some point they get they they call, they they get the views because EA releases SBCs, people pack them, you know, and whatever. Those cards would do well for reviews, and I just I just haven't done them because I I'm always trying to look for motivation to try to play this game. But then every time I hop on and I have to do reviews for certain cards, and people notice, and people are very nice to me. Okay, guys, listen to what I'm gonna tell you. An incredibly large majority of you guys are actually nicer to me nowadays than it was back in the day because back in the day i was literally canceled as a content creator because i was mainly a streamer and when i used to talk about all these things you were like oh he just complains too much right i still get it on twitter on twitter the most these guys these guys they i don't know bro they think that ea's gonna let them like hop on it you know what i'm saying like you know what i'm saying like, they think they're, they think they're gonna let them hop on it that's what it is bro because i don't know how you can protect the state of this game in any sort of way guys this is without me looking at tweets of whether or not people guys you want to you want to see what my my youtube is bro come with me to my youtube channel what's the first thing you guys see here your watch history is off. Uh, do you guys see any FIFA content creators here? I'm gonna, I'm just, I'm gonna scroll real slow for you. Real slow. Do you guys see? No, 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 because I focus on some other things. You may see one in there randomly. Let me know. I'll, I'll take it out right away. And it's not, it's not against the content creators it's because I don't want to see FIFA stuff, guys. Once I am done, my work. Because I already get drained from playing it. So I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay with seeing like extra stuff with this game. That's why all these glitches and bugs, these things I haven't even seen, it's better for me mentally because it just makes me hate the game more. And in order for me to continue creating the content that the most that I can create as much as possible, right? I can't see these things. My Twitter is the same, guys. Look, my Twitter, everything is muted. I only have stuff that I need to know for content. I just did a leaked video today for Future Stars, so I need to see these types of tweets. But most of my stuff is, you know, uh, formal and stuff. You know, he streams. I like watching formal streams. Uh, it's just Babbins, who's a Canadian guy that does like deals for like games and stuff. He that's that's my whole for you page or the, my whole page, right? I have played again. This guy that tells me the new content for FIFA. But look, do you guys see any FIFA content creators here? Nothing against them. They have to. They, they gotta make their living, right? But it's all muted because I don't want to see nothing. Whenever, whenever something happens to Nick, Nick knows that I have my my Twitter thing muted, so he sends me a message to then see it. But even still, guys, I don't, I don't want to see it. I don't, I don't want to see it. I don't. I do the game I as a job. Me, bro. I'm decent enough at the game to provide you guys with information about the individual cards. <laughs> when I'm doing review FIFA, it's not the same thing as me doing regular playing the game FIFA. Because I can actually review the card properly and test out certain things that you guys can see. That's why people like the reviews, guys. Because a lot of times it's me testing the, the, each individual thing that you want to see. You want to see the defensive stuff. You want to see the attacking stuff. You want to see if you can dribble. You want to see if you can pass. I, I'm trying to show you all of it, right? So a lot of times the, the, the division that I'm in or the, whether I'm doing in champs, which is most of, most of the reviews are champs. It's like 90% of them you can see, right? But some people are either in like division one, two, three, four, whatever, right? It doesn't matter because you just want to see what the individual base mechanics of the card is, okay? Because I'm still decent enough at the game to, re to be able to provide that information, but I'm not crazy enough to play this full meta way on a consistent basis because I have to go out of my way to search for formations and tactics that will at least sometimes, at least 10, 15% of the times, cause an authentic attacking AI for me so that I can enjoy the game more. This year, guys, listen, man, Div10 did a great job with that 4 one 3 2 
but it's still it's still not like there for me and no formation and tactic will be there for me this year and on a personal level no right? i can't slow down his speed Jace bro one time saves me for one of the new gen versions it. of the game it was it was last year or two years ago his three four or three one four two but every tactic i've tried from him afterwards like it's not his fault i just think everything sucks in this game every formation and tactic is just for me to do the same thing anyways you know i'm at 1.5 talk i talked enough i don't want to like keep you guys here for a long time i just i just want to say what i had to say um I'm still gonna create the content. I'm still incredibly grateful for the life that I have because it's, uh, guys, I don't take it for granted. I've worked a regular job before. I know what it's like, okay? But I really worked a lot to get to this point as well. I stressed a lot. I did a lot of videos. You guys know, man, back in the day, I used to do, I, sometimes the transfer market cards would come out. I would do like eight or 10 videos in a day. Really drain myself, but I, I was really grinding during this time period. And now we're at a point where it's like, I just try to like, I try to like level out my mentality so that I don't get like super like drains from playing this game. You know what I'm saying? I have to like level it out. Like, okay, I'll, I'll do these like two, three videos today. You know, try to get someone like, try to get like good authentic tactics for you guys because I know that you guys don't like these meta plays all the time as well. So I do my best to provide you with good attacking AI stuff. You know, the 4-1-2-2, the 4 4 2 recently, the 4 one 3 2 recently. I do my best. But those formations, guys, they are not the most effective. If you face someone that is doing the rat stuff, they're, they're going to score easy goals against you. But I'm, I'm willing to concede easy goals as long as I can at least score some decent ones. So I have some sort of enjoyment in my head as I'm doing the videos for you guys. That's, that's the key thing here, okay? But all these videos, like these tier lists and stuff, trust me guys, I know what videos will do well, but sometimes it's just the, the personal care to the video to, you know, this is, this is me, right? But I just, I just, it's all deleted. You can see I only have like updates from the console. I just catch messages left, right, and center. This is the, this is the RTG account, right? Is it done? Yeah, RTG account. I don't, I don't remember which one I have because so many for the content, right? But guys, listen, man, don't think that like, my mental health is at a certain point and all that kind of like don't guys you don't have to feel sorry for me please at any like point, other... feel sorry for me i'm playing a video game for a living at the end of the day and i'm grateful for the content team to provide me with the living not the gameplay team they can do one okay but the content team for 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 allowing me to, to do this as a job because at the end of the day like i know what it's like to work a regular job i know what it is guys i'm not stupid i'm very grateful for the position that i'm in but for me guys just understand that it comes from a place of just wanting to play a football game that is what do you guys think he's waffling at the end of it no it's just a waffle i think about like him as a creator and stuff ah uh, to be fair I, I i really don't disagree with too much like in there at all i mean is there anything else here that Good. that was man holy nobody wants to watch so yeah you just right, waffling, right? you know what i'm saying two goals bro oh wait wait wait, wait, wait. Like okay a little bit playing it because he didn't give like squad advice personal connection to the video that playing it because you know it's trash then fair play you know what i'm saying at the end of the day oh. it's the best football game we have and football is the world-renowned sport it's it's a huge part of a lot of people's lives fair play i'll give you guys a pass <laughs> yeah it's, i think it's just like i i, I think it's Basically, the end of the discussion is like the reason I don't blame the chat. I don't blame you guys for playing this game. Like, I'm not really that guy because it's all we have. But I, I mean, I was already talking about that a lot during the video. He's 90% correct. What do you, what do you disagree with in the video? I don't disagree with much, man. Just the fact that, like, in order to enjoy the game, you do have to do certain things, right? Otherwise, the game is just almost impossible to play.